Start a new one, dude. Let's fucking start a new one, mate. Let's fucking have a go, shall we? Oh, man. Who do we want to be? Who do we want to be? Um. Should we just be a Nord? I mean, we're in Skyrim. Maybe we should just be a Nord. Or is that too boring? Uh, I don't know. What up, PMA? How are you? What up, what up? Just a little bit of Breton or an Argonian. Yeah. What up, Eric? How's it going, dude? I saw, dude. Nord warriors with a big ass axe all the time. Yeah. This one ugly son bitch. Dude, I fucking got the weirdest urge to just play this fucking game because of Gus Johnson's latest video. If you guys haven't heard it, we might fucking listen to it on stream because it's a wonderful, wholesome video and it makes me fucking happy. And it, it literally, like, I, I had the weirdest urge to play this. This is, like, super vanilla, too. Like, I have I have patches and I have Sky UI. And that's pretty much, that's what I've got. You want to work done on your leg tomorrow? Fuck yeah, dude. Sick. Is it going to be a long session? What up, Firebug? Pyros, how you doing? What up, what up? How's everybody? Hi! How you doing? How you doing? It's good to see you. Five hours, nothing too crazy. Yeah, and if it's on your leg, too, you might be able to lay down, dude. That'd be dope. <laughs> like, fucking just snooze. <laughs> Finish your throat on the 18th. God, dude, that sounds so fucking bad. I'm not going to lie. Pyros, thank you for the host, buddy. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. There's a ban me clip. <laughs> thank you, toddler. Thank you. I'm glad people liked it. I'm glad. I'm glad. Um, I've just been seeing a lot of uh, like I've been I've been in streams where like the streamer is literally going over on ban requests, like on the stream, which I think is kind of funny. Um. So, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to make it. It was good. Kind of a spur of the moment video, but I liked it. Definitely not looking forward to it. Yeah, I wouldn't either. That shit sounds awful. <laughs> that shit sounds like it hurts. Gently getting ready for bed. Nice. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Dude, I think we're just going to be a Nord. We're just going to be a super bro. Seems good. Let's see. What kind of presets we got here? I I know the old guy, I think. Or is that the Brett? Oh, no. There he is. <laughs> and then this, this guy just looks like what I would imagine, like, Scottish people looked like back in the day. He just seems very Scottish. Maybe it's the face paint that's doing that. This guy looks scary. Um, I just like the presets. Yo, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Yeah, here we go. We're going to be big as shit for no reason, dude. For absolutely no reason, we're just going to be huge. 
Have that clear skin, that baby skin. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. I felt a little bad until I got crazy. I was thinking I've been that guy and read it before. They're not the fucked up shit. Saying the Undertaker was an asshole. <laughs> Wait, you got banned on Reddit for saying the Undertaker was an asshole? <laughs> That's the funniest shit. <laughs> fuck the Undertaker. No, you don't fuck the Undertaker. The Undertaker fucks you. You just get banned for that shit. <laughs> That's fucking great. Dude, I kind of wish... Eh, this is all fine. What kind of hair can we have? Maybe we'll mix up the hair. Got the braids. Got the one braid. Oh, no. That's two. I was like, the, okay, we got the one side braid. Uh, oh, yeah. There we go. I think that's our look right there. The no hair. With the stuff on the sides. You know, we, we grow it out. We're still, uh... <laughs> we're still clinging to the hopes that our hair is going to come back. Yeah, that's what this is. This is denial. We're still just clinging to the fact that our hair is going to come back. Yeah, this is, this is, yep. That's what we're going for right there. That's pretty good. Shave the sides off. I like it. Yeah, I like that. We'll do that right there. Perfect, dude. Someone's hangry that day. Yeah. Now, did some of the unban requests that I've seen, like, not for me, but for, like, just other streams, have been fucking hilarious. Like, sometimes, like, the dude will get banned. Or, like, whoever it is gets fucking banned. And the unban request just says, bitch. <laughs> That's all it says. <laughs> it's just, like, all right, cool. <laughs> just just to get the last word in just bitch <laughs> oh it's fucking great here we're gonna this is burger kid burger kid but old there we go this is burger kid but old that's this guy's name that's his new name. <laughs> this is after we kicked Burger Kid out of the house. He didn't have anywhere to go. He turned into fucking this guy. It's Burger Man now. That's Approach true. My That's child true. And choose where your new life shall begin. Dude, did we just do vanilla start? You know what? Fuck it, dude. I haven't played this game in so long. Let's just do a vanilla start. Hand of fate. I literally got such a bad urge to play this game strictly because of fucking Gus Johnson's video. That little song he made. I wanna live in a Skyrim house. Raise a couple kids in a big pad mouse. Eat a whole cheese wheel when I damn well feel as I practice my shouts we might listen to that once we get into the game and I can actually like, save it we're gonna fucking watch this we're gonna watch that video because it's fun for all these years Skyrim yes yeah yeah I got a bad urge to play like, it was real bad dude I still remember the first time I saw this fucking opening dude I was so like excited I was like who it's happening hey you I'm finally awake you don't fucking time border, right you walk right into that imperial ambush same as us and that thing make sure to turn this up a little bit damn you storm cloaks skyrim was fine until you came along empire was nice and lazy they hadn't been looking for you Stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me. I've been asking for years. I know. The Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in minds now. 
Shuts up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. <laughs> the Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. But if they capture you, oh God, where are they taking us? Oh God. I don't know where we're going, but Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. Sovereign Guard awaits. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Dude, Jeff, I fucking love the Stanley Parable. I'm, I'm from Rorikstead. I always play it anytime I do a 24-hour stream. The headsman is waiting. Because one, it's great to kill time. And it's, like, interactive enough and funny enough to, like, keep me awake. But it's, like, actually entertaining. I, I love that fucking game. How about a day? I'm good. I'm good. Um, General Tully is the military I'm really excited because tomorrow looks like the are with them. I get yeah, fucking had something to do with this. tomorrow I'm going to get Little Caesar's pretzel crust. So I'm excited. I know that's such a stupid fucking thing to be excited for, but I'm excited. <laughs> so never. Dude, it's been a while since I've done a 24 hour. I didn't realize how long it had been. Time has just gotten away from me. Measy, thank you for the raid. Hi. What's up? Maybe just ignorant. No, it's been a long time. At least minimum two years since I've done one, which is crazy. Let me suck on those giant mommy milkers. Sorry to disappoint you, but I don't actually have nipples. I was born without them. Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Is this 24 hour? No. No, no, no. No, I got shit to do tomorrow. Let's go. Like, keep the gods get waiting. pretzel crust. No, 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 no. Any mods? Um, this is super. This is about as close to vanilla as I'm comfortable getting, which is just sky UI um, and patches. So, no mods other than those two, but it's just because I haven't played the game in a long time. I just kind of wanted to, you know, remember what the game was like with, like, because sometimes when I add mods, I play with a certain mod so long, I don't know what's in the base game and what's not in the base game. Like, I don't, I can't tell the difference in, like, what was a mod and what wasn't, so... This is, I just hate the fucking, the base UI, I fucking, I can't stand it, so... And I, I got the patches as well, so. Did you know that's why I found you? Well, Meezy, thank you, buddy. Damn, dude, got him in the ankle that time. Wait. Fuck, wait, no! I was looking at something, you ass! Got him in the fucking ankle that time. Who are you? You picked a bad time to come home to Skyrim, Kinsman. Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. You know what? I hope you I die first. Captain. I'm sorry. At least you'll die here, in your homeland. I shouldn't be captain, here. Prisoner. I shouldn't be here. Detroit style pizza. Is that where they put the sauce on the top? Because I haven't had that. But it reminds me of a place that I used to eat at in Arkansas called Gusano's. Gusano's did a deep dish pizza where the sauce was on the top. It was pretty good. Expensive, though. But it was good. You started this war. Plunged Skyrim into chaos. And now the Empire is going to put... Why do I feel like... My sound is, like, way down. It's not. The music's down a little bit, but that's just because the music can get so fucking loud. It's, like, crazy. Maybe the voice just needs to go up or something. I feel like it's like really quiet. Do down and restore That's a little better. What was that? Free salad for eleven bucks, yeah. Yes, General Tullius. Dude, there's a place that does a pizza like that. I really like it. It's that thick pizza. Blessings of the eight divines upon Um like that Detroit style, but it's called Jets Pizza. 
wish. Their shit's really good. It's like crispy. Come on. I haven't got all more. Oh my fucking god. I just like I don't want to talk about it. I just snorted monster. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. And you say the same. I just fucking like ah! You know I think about this guy all the time. Surprisingly, I think about him more than I think I, I do a lot of video game characters. Because if he wasn't talking all that shit, he'd be alive. If he slowed things down and maybe stalled a little bit longer, Alduin would show up and he'd still be alive. But he was like, nah, go ahead, fuck it. I don't care. Did you hear that? Cut my shit off. To the block prisoner. I don't even need my head. Fuck you. Yeah, like, but he was talking shit. I think about him a lot. Don't even clean out the basket or nothing. You can just dump him out. Can you dump him out before you cut mine off? Papa John stuff. Yeah, we got a coupon in the mail for Papa John stuff crust. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> All I think about when I think about Papa John's is that interview. Have you guys seen that interview of him? No, no, no. So, it's an interview. What is that thing? Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn out. It's an interview of Papa John's. Or Papa John. He's like sweaty. And he goes, they're like, can you explain, like, what happened? He's like, oh, um, the whole story will come out and a day of reckoning will come. It's like, who the fuck says that, dude? It's like the most cryptic, like... He literally stares right at him. And he goes, a day of reckoning will come. And it's like, Jesus. All the pizza ate? Yeah. He says um, that the that nobody knows about uh, as much about pizza as him. And he had eaten like 40 pizzas in like one month or some shit. It's sweaty. He's like sweaty as fuck. Still alive, prisoner. Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. Okay. Take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. Who the fuck is this guy? God's guide you, Hadbar. Oh, okay. Who's the little boy? Like the little boy didn't have a name. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. Stay close to the wall. Stay close to the wall. Ah. has two eagles fucking no way he just seems like a weird dude like <laughs> out of my way I'm a Nord, so we're gonna go with Rayloff. Yeah, we're gonna go with Rayloff. We're gonna role play heavy. I'm role playing so heavily that I've actually shit myself. You know, from being scared of having my head chopped off and then a dragon coming out of the sky. I've shit myself, like in real life. We'll meet again, Solid God, brother. That's how that's how into character I get. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon. No doubt. Always go, Rayloff. Like Fuck that other guy. You don't like, uh, legends. half -art? The harbingers of the end times. The harbingers get of the end times. Let me, let me see if I can get those bindings off. Oh. Oh, that was gross. Let's cut you loose. Oh, that was gross. 
May as well take Gunyer's gear. He won't be needing it anymore. Gunyer, no! Thanks! All right. <laughs> I'm like, no! Thanks! Unwanted effects remover? What is that from? That's a mod, but I don't know from what. U-S-S-E-P. I don't know where the fuck that... I don't know what that book is. But, okay. That works for me, dude. Uh... Shit. I've got a... Dude, I have all of these old keybinds, like, up in my noggin. From whenever I played a fuckload of this. And... What it's done is now all my keybinds are not what they used to be. And it's... It's fucked everything. Uh, character menu. Ink tab. POV. Toggle POV should not be Z. Why the fuck is that Z? That's my magic menu. Okay, whatever. No! No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Let's see. Auto move is C. Favorites Q. That's fine. System tab. Quick inventory. Quick magic is Z. You guys gotta trust me here, chat. Um, quick inventory, shift. You just gotta trust me. Trust. Trust, dude. Uh, toggle POV. I think I normally had that as T. But I guess I can keep it as P. I don't really change my shit that much. Okay, those are the two that I found that were fucking with me. Let's see if I can find some way right. out here. Ah, this one's locked. Let's see about that gate. You always do Imperial Race for the extra gold they find in chests? Oh, shit. Is that a thing? <laughs> I actually don't know. Yeah, no way to open. It's from our side. Really like Tullius's armor? You can only get it by killing him. Oh, gotcha. You loaded an old save? Seriously? Ah, my magic menu. Fuck yeah. This is what I like. Wait, P is favorite. Oh, that's why I... Okay. This is going to frustrate me. Okay, so we're going to put shouting on a mouse button, I think, maybe. And then we're going to put favorite... Or we're going to put uh, POV on F. So that way, my favorite keybind to, like, favorite shit in my inventory is also on F. That'll work. That'll work. Oh, shit. Wait, I'm doing... It's doing the thing again where, like... I'm scrolling on another window. One second. Let me... Click. See if that, no. What the fuck, dude? It's literally scrolling on my second monitor. Stop it. Stop it! Bitch. Okay, whatever. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna scroll at this point. I don't know. Shadow can't hear me, but hi description of the character in when you select your race interesting it's pretty good but that first half made me feel attacked <laughs> good good I made it specifically for you I'm kidding I'm kidding of course I'm kidding um is there another button that I could put this shit on Yo, what if I put it on C, actually? Let's do that. Let's put shouts on C. I don't like having a lot of stuff on my mouse buttons, anyway. Because I'm just a fucking... I'm just weird. I'm weird. Just don't worry about it. Um. Oh, God. I'm scrolling chat now. Fuck. Okay. Dude, I hate that this happens. I have no idea why it happens. But I literally am, like, scrolling through shit. Um, like, on my other monitor. I'm scrolling chat right now. Like, it scrolls up whenever I go up. And I fucking hate it. I have no idea how to stop it. Oh, God. <laughs> Any mods in this bad boy? It's super vanilla. I have the UI mod. I have Sky UI. And I have patches. That's, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Now I have to find fucking... 
Where the fuck is it? Uh, toggle POV. This needs to be on F. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I gotta scroll back down to... Does anybody know why that shit happens, dude? Display... No, that's fine. Depth of field probably needs to be turned off, but why not? We'll fucking play with it for right now. We'll see. Wait. Now we're good. Wait. Perfect, dude. Wait, I <laughs> I have no idea what difficulty this is on. I don't think it's very high though, I'll tell you that. I'll change it here in a minute. Yeah, it's not on very high. Put wait on T for timeout. That's good. Give me all of your things. Um, what the fuck is the difficulty on? It's on adept. What's the lowest it goes? Novice, Apprentice, Adept, Expert, Master, Legendary. Okay. So you have... Uh, you have Story Mode. Still Story Mode. Fun. Fun with a little bit of... Uh, a few things that can kill you. Then you have a, a bit of a challenge up until a certain level. And then you have uh, a Walking Hell. That's what you have right here. You have, do, do you want to spend 45 minutes hitting the same dragon? I still remember I did a, uh, I was doing a One Life character, and I did the, the Spellbreaker Daedric quest, and I couldn't do enough damage to the mage guy at the end, the guy that, like, teleports all over the place. I couldn't kill him fast enough before he healed himself. So I was just stuck in limbo. I couldn't do anything. I actually had to, like, console kill him to get through it. Because I, I was physically unable to do enough damage to him when I did the quest to act to kill him. I just... I, I would hit him and hit him and hit him and he'd teleport away and then he would heal. And I was like... I, I It was impossible. I had nothing that could actually kill him. It was the saddest shit in the world. He couldn't kill me. That was the hell I was in. I couldn't die, and I couldn't do enough damage to kill him. So it's just me fucking running all over this room trying to hit this bastard. Fucking horrible, dude. I'll just play on Master for right now. I don't mind Legendary. I think I just got, like, my fill of Legendary. We might turn it up, like, later on in the game or something, but... For those of you that have been here long enough, I think I just got my fill of Legendary at one point. Uh, why not, dude? We'll do some heavy shit. We'll, we'll start with some heavy. Um, we'll do the the good old. We'll do an imperial sword. Start off with. We'll do this. Do this little action here. This works for me. Legendary blows. They just didn't balance it right. That's all it was. They like mods obviously fix it. They just. It's just a Bethesda game. So like turning up the difficulty only affects health and damage. That's it. It's just so stupid. Like in Fallout, in, in Fallout I remember, it was easier to play the game on the hardest difficulty um, and have a follower because the game would scale the follower to the difficulty. So, um, like if you had Fox, he just never died. Fox like would not die on the hardest difficulty. It was the funniest shit in the world. Fox would just, like, absolutely just win the game for you. Oh, they love each other. I think I've seen this movie before. Wait, 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 wait. That's better. Perfect. Fucking awesome. Done. Let's get moving. Now, kid. <laughs> what up, Shun? Dude, I just had, like, the biggest urge to play this game. Oh, right! I was gonna fucking show you guys the Gus song. Right, right. 
Okay, here we go. Here we go. I gotta, I gotta show you guys this song. This was literally the reason why I wanted to play it. I know some of you probably heard it, but it's still great, so I'm gonna show it to you. God damn! Wait, why does that video have over 400 views in an hour? Jesus, dude. Thank you. My videos never do that many views that quickly. I know it doesn't seem like a lot. Like, 400 views, haha, <laughs> that's not much. It, it is a lot for me. That's crazy. Let's see. It is right here. It's this one right here. It's fucking great, dude. In a Skyrim house There's a couple kids And a big pet mouse You know what she's will When I damn well feel As I practice my shouts Cause I wanna live In a Skyrim house Burn a silver mine down Turn the lantern lights out My man battling Dishing out the fire salt Working on my speechcraft Trying to get the price down Honey nut treats Got me right in Keep my caps white, cap and wizard in a white hall. Treat my girl right from the second seat to first floor. Set them stacking in my bank account. Cause I wanna live in a Skyrim house. There's a couple kids and a big pet mouse. Eat a whole cheese wheel when I damn well feel as I practice my shouts. Cause I wanna live in a Skyrim house. Bro, <laughs> this, he released this video fucking a week ago, exactly, and I have listened to it probably 50 times, and that's why I'm playing Skyrim today, because I absolutely just could not help myself. It's so good. The lyrics actually make a lot of fucking sense, too. Like, there's a lot of references in it that are really fucking solid. That's a great song. And it's so wholesome. It's surprisingly wholesome. I know it's been like a week to get the tire fixed. I did, yeah, yeah, and they didn't charge me for it, which was great, because I got the fucking protection. I remember I was worried, because whenever I bought the tires, um, it was like, randomly like $150 more than what I was planning on spending. Uh, but I got the protection on it. I'm fucking glad I did, dude. Dumbass screw. Some bullshit. But yes, fucking, the song is great, dude. It's on Gus Johnson's channel. Uh, he hit 3 million recently, which is fucking fabulous. Yeah. That's such a good song. But that's why we're playing Skyrim, essentially, is I, I really wanted to. Because life makes sense when you're kicking it in Breeze home, dude. Oh, wait, shit. I fucking... I keep forgetting I have to launch everything from Script Extender. Mule the Lioness gonna be my spouse. Cause life makes sense when you're sucking on a wiener. Uh, Burger Kid, but old. There we go. We'll do that. What is that, Pyros? Is that just what it's called? Is that just like another like uh like song like that? Hear that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Skyrim belongs to the Nords. Wait, shit. Is it weird that I play on 95 FOV? I just can't do the default FOV. Like, the default FOV is literally, like, this? Like, this is default, dude. That shit is so close. I feel like my hand is huge. Like, from this field of view, I feel like I'm walking like this. Does that make sense? I literally feel like my character's, like, got his hands, like, right fucking here. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is this is default. It feels so zoomed in. Wait a second. Looks like there's something. In this I don't cage. want a mace. Fuck your mace, dude. Fortress hood. I don't want that either. No, I don't have a shield yet. I'll take a shield. Yeah, this shit's just like super close. Teaching you how to use a talk box. Really? Interesting. But yeah, the default FOV in this game is, is I think, like, fucking 70 or some shit. It's kind of nuts. Dude, you get so many lockpicks on the fucking vanilla start? Why do I have 17? Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Why do I have four of these? What's my carry weight? 212. Eh, it's not that bad, I guess. <laughs> I have multiple sets of the same armor. Uh, What's my helmet give me? 19 armor. Uh, I'm going to favorite this. And I think I'm actually going to throw this on. Strictly because the extra magic is going to be cool. 30 magic is pretty good. It's pretty good. Early game, dude. It's pretty good. Ahoy! Gar. Mr. Davy Jones. Gar. Peter. This dude's vibing right now. This dude's vibing hard right now. This way. Honestly, that might be the most comfortable way to lay in that cage. I'm gonna be... Well, no. I'd put my head... Yeah, I'd probably lay more straight, but that's probably the most comfortable way to be in that cage. Go full pirate after you say hi. Yeah, I just automatically... Every pirate reference that I think of, um, I think of... Uh, what's his name? Pirate Steve from Dodgeball. He's the only pirate that I think about. Gar. Peter. Haha. Uh -huh. You had an arrow. Oh! Okay, I got fire, so I'm just gonna wait. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on in there. Do I have a bow? I don't know if I do. I don't think I do. I'm not seeing one. I'll just take this, guys. I'll take that. Yep, go ahead and kill him. Kill him. Do it. Do it. Oh, God damn it, dude. Wait. Wait, why does it... What? Oh, it lets me scroll up, but it, now I'm scrolling back down, dude. Is there a way... I have to look at this really quick. Is there a way to stop that shit from happening? Let's see. Stop. Skyrim... Or... Wait. Uh, scrolling on... Second monitor playing Skyrim. There's got to be a way to fix this. I don't remember this ever being an issue until I played like recently. Um. I have a solution. Um. Oh, it's on fucking... It's on Windows 10? Watch my stream. Fuck this guy. Thank you! 
Redneck! You got your account back! Good for you! Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. That's huge, man. That's fucking huge. Okay, so what is this? It's in Windows 10. God damn it. I'm sorry, chat. I have to fix this. I've been having this issue so much. I'm literally like, I can't read chat because it scrolls whenever I'm trying to like do shit in the fucking game. So it's, it's fucking in Windows 10. Um, the fuck is it? I hope this is, I hope this is right. Because otherwise I'm going to feel real fucking stupid here. Let's see here. Um, where is it? Devices? Mouse? Scroll inactive windows off. Apparently that fixes it. It's literally this one setting. If you guys have this issue, if you guys have this fucking issue right here, it's under device, mouse. Apparently this fixes it. Turning this off. Scroll inactive windows when I hover over them. Turn that shit off. I've never had this problem until we played, uh, we played Rage. I don't know if you guys remember that shit. Whenever I fucking played Rage, it was scrolling. Who the fuck would want to scroll inactive windows? So it'd be like, um, like right now, like if I wanted to scroll chat right now, see I'm scrolling my main window, I didn't click on my dashboard. So it's like if you have multiple windows open and you just want to move your mouse over it and scroll to see something, like now you just have to click on it. So like it's kind of like a weird quality of life thing if you have like if you constantly work in a lot of windows I could see it but I don't really give a fuck. Um but yeah, so this should fix it. Everybody welcome Northern Redneck back because uh I don't know if you guys know this, but Twitch support has been really shitty. If you have to reset your password, they like or um need to like, get, like, an automated email from them. It's been really fucking bad for people. Um, they won't send it. Their system's been broken for a very long time. So, him getting his account back has been fucking awesome. He had an old account that he forgot the password to. Losing my mind trying to fix your Fallout. Yeah, apparently that fixes it. So, we'll see. It happens a lot with Bethesda games, I've, I've found out. So... Yeah, if you guys have that fucking problem, dude, just turn that shit off. It's an easy setting in <laughs> devices. Finally tried again after months. Hello, Lance. Grim, what up? I didn't forget the password. That's the shit part. Oh, really? That's ass. <laughs> That's fucking ass. Bye, bye how you doing? How you doing, buddy? Password's been compromised, but didn't send you a reset link? Oh, that's ass. Yeah, I had that issue because I've been, I've been trying to recover. So I told you guys, I've been on Twitch or Justin TV since fucking forever ago. And I've been trying to recover my fucking old ass account that I had before I started streaming for a long time. But they never send me the, the reset link. I've been trying for so long to do it. It's still there. I just want the account because it's so old. Um, but they won't send me the the shit to, to get it. Whoops. You're a mod for a friend stream? Yeah, I think anybody who's ever modded or streamed themselves has probably dealt with that at some point or another. So... That was a fun video. I'm glad people liked it, man. It's always nice. It's always nice when people like a video like that, you know? Dinner entertainment? What do you, what you got for dinner, Grim? Alright, let's go grab this shit down here real quick. Okay, can I... Thank you. I was like stuck. 
Cock Alfredo. Sick, dude. Fuck yeah. Alfredo sauce is so good. I'd put Alfredo sauce on titties, to be honest. I love Alfredo sauce. That would be an interesting conversation to have with my wife. Hey, babe. Here's the deal. I really love Alfredo sauce. I hate these fucking things, dude. And these are like such watered down versions of like the spiders in the rest of the fucking game. Like frostbite spiders in the rest of the game that are this size, like the big boy ones. They do so much more damage than these little shits, and I still fucking hate them. Give me all the things here. Wait. Um. Go ahead and E1, E1, E1. Yeah, just go ahead and grab that shit. Go ahead and grab that shit, dude. You know what I mean? We're gonna grab that shit right there. Grab all the shits, you know what I'm saying, dude? Grab all the fucking shits, dude. The fuck was that? Does oh, this guy have gold on him? Maybe a lockpick? Ah, he's got a lockpick. Nice. Those poor guys always have a lockpick. Like, they were ready to get out of a locked room, but then wound up fucking wrapped in a spider web. It's like the last thing you want to have when you're getting eaten by a spider is a lockpick. But if they went to jail, dude, they were fucking ready. Yeah, there is a bear. See her? I'd rather not tangle with her right now. Let's try to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow. Hey, um, where you step. how about we not? Or if you're feeling lucky, you can yep. take this boat. Right in the face, dude. Alfredo de la Cooch. <laughs> uh, if you got bit by one. Oh, wait. You'd be afraid of spiders if you got bit by one of the top deadly spiders like you did? Oh, shit. That would suck, dude. I knew we'd make it. The last bad spider bite I had was on my big toe, and I just couldn't walk. Like, it, like, swelled up, like, three times its size, and I just actually couldn't walk. This shit hurts so bad. I just started, yes, yeah, yeah. But I haven't been bit by a spider in a long time, I think... I had something once, like, Wait. not too long ago that I thought might be a spider bite, but... Aw, oh, man. I hate... There he goes. Looks like he's gone like when you get out and the weather cycle's not, like, all nice and beautiful, you know? I like the fucking sun just, like, beaming. Clear out of here. I think this game's super pretty. Runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. I love how he says that. And like, but like if I go with him, like it gives me a different dialogue thing. He's like, oh, okay. I guess we'll travel together. That's cool. Oh, what the fuck? I did not mean to do that. Uh, yeah. Restore health, good. Munch on all that shit. Give me some of that. Oh, wait, is there no more? Really? Okay, cool. Dude, you guys remember whenever they were showing the trailer for this game? Like, they, like, zoomed in on the ivy and shit like this. <laughs> this is ultra. This is what this looks like. This is This is ultra graphics on this. 
the special edition, dude. I remember that specifically, but it wasn't. I don't think it was like just on a log like that. It was on like the sp specifically like the Riverwood one. There's like a, a wall with some ivy on it, like zoomed in on it. How ass this game looks. This is ultra graphics. Everything turned up on the special edition. This is this is the pinnacle. These, these are quite possibly the greatest graphics anyone's ever seen. So I'm gonna need you to I'm gonna need you to put some respect on it. See that ruin up there? Falls arrow. Never understood how my sister could stand living in the shadow of that place. I guess you get used to it. That's so fucking cool still to me. That is one thing that I always loved about this game. Was because of the nature of it. Because of all the mountains and shit. You can just be standing here and be like, Oh, dude, I want to go over there. And then you do. <laughs> uh, we'll just do this, yeah. Three of the 13 ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's lands. Damien, what up? Warrior, good. Overall the landscape of Skyrim's and barren and ugly. And Your mom is barren and ugly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was a harsh comeback for a criticism of a video game. I'm sorry. That was uncalled for. I'm sorry. Tree mods and better lighting are must. I will say, dude, the, the fucking mods for this game make this game look nuts. Like, so good. Remember, this isn't Stormcloak territory. <laughs> if we're ahead of the news from Helgen, we should be fine. Take it back! You just start screaming, you're just on the ground, like, rolling around. Take it back now! I have a build, just doing whatever. Um... I know I probably won't do two-handed. Um, but I'm still debating... on how much magic I want to use. I'll use a bow for certain things, but I don't really want to do an archer. So I'm um, just like, you know... Nothing super crazy, but as of right now, it's just going to kind of be situational for what I'm doing. But I probably won't use two-handed because... You know. For one, my dick's not long enough to use two hands, so that's that's one reason. Oh, there's red. There we go. Give me that. Num, 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 num. We're almost to Riverwood. Sweet. This game is still so much fun to just like casually play. Fuck is my auto run? Oh, it's P now. Great. Okay, I remember that now. Shooting unsuspecting people in the fucking head with an arrows. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, it's just like, it's just such like a like a slow way to play, which can be fun. Like I really like the the old like stealth illusion magic build. I think that's a lot of fun. Um, and I don't mind using bows. It's just you know, it's 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 like that meme. <laughs> you know, you start off, it's like I'm gonna be a warrior. I'm going to be a mighty warrior with heavy armor and alteration magic. And it's like 30 levels later. What the fuck? Why am I using a bow? How did I get here? Why am I a stealth archer again? <laughs> that fucking meme where you just always end up as a stealth archer? That's right. We made out in a cave. Somewhere we can talk. It was great. 
You want to you want to make out? Again? Has something happened? You're right. Follow me. Hold. Come here a minute. I need your help with something. The offers on the table actually need that. I don't have a woodcutter's axe yet. Hold. Just come here. Raylo. Full mage or stealth here? archer? Full mage is still a lot of fun. But I hate, 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 hate master level um, destruction spells. I feel like it's like the saddest, most underwhelming thing in the fucking world. Like, I feel like I need mods to fully enjoy, like, a, a full playthrough of a mage. I usually get bored with mages, like... Like, if I get late game with a, with a full mage, I'm just, I'm so bored. Like, I just, I just think the destruction magic's just super boring without mods, so I'll end up using, you know, Conjuration or Illusion or something. How much you missed mod abuse? I'm proud of you for getting that fucking account back. I'm so proud of you for putting up with the bullshit. Well, the news you heard about Alfric was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. I've actually... You guys are going to make fun of me? I've actually never listened to a lot of these conversations between the NPCs. I just assumed they were really shit. So, I'm probably going to listen to more of them. What year is this? I'm playing Skyrim. Is this real? Yeah, dude, we're chilling. We're chilling playing some Skyrim. I'm, just, I'm playing on Master. You know, so it's a nice relaxing thing. Just kind of playing slow, chilling, having some fun, shooting the shit with chat, enjoying the atmosphere. You know, maybe we'll build a house, maybe we'll start a family. Maybe we'll have a shitty bard that that's really terrible at, at playing a drum. You know, maybe. What up, Murgle? They knew exactly where we'd be. That was uh, two days ago now. You're Mordecai, or Morty, whichever you prefer. What up? I'm great. How are you? Shit's big, lame. I know destruction magic's so underwhelming. I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger. Here, you know what? Let me look at something here. I always have this issue. Yeah, I guess Master's all the way up. I always have this issue. Let me turn effects down just a touch. Maybe that's what's, like, making the voice sound like that. I feel like the the non-direct conversation voice audio in this game is always super scuffed for some reason. I, I don't know why. Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. See, like, I feel like she just got super clear just as soon as she did that. Damn. Sometimes you get lucky, and when you go in here, she'll have, like, a fucking enchanted ring. It'll be, like, a health ring or, or, or um, just some, like, enchanted ring. She doesn't always have it, though. I'll take that. I'll take some horker loaf. Why not? Yeah, I'll take I'll take that too. And I'll take your hunting brew mead. What up, action? What up, what up? Any mods or am I going vanilla? It's uh. Fuck this guy. Hey Zeus. What? The, how the fuck does that song go? Hey June, but. Hey, Zeus. Thank you for the seven months, dude. Thank you for the seven months tier one, buddy. Thank you. Punch her, then reload the save. Nah, it's all right. We don't need it that bad. We don't need it that bad. There is something you could do for me. For all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. 
Riverwood is defenseless. Um, but all I have is UI and patches. Um, I haven't played in a long time. Um, and last time I played, I had like 200 mods, and I forgot what was a mod and what wasn't a mod. So I just want that classic fucking 2011 experience. But it's on special edition, and I have a nicer UI. So. All that juicy shit. I let them into the house and, you know, show them where everything is. Hmm. Help them drink up our mead, you mean? Good luck, brother. Yeah. I'll see you later. Don't worry about me. I know how to lay low. Oh, he knows how to lay low. Dude, you can't make sexual remarks to your sister. You know what mod <clears throat> is a really good one? God, I can't even remember what the fuck it's called, though. It was a racial mod that I had that made the races their proper heights, like, in the lore. So, like, high elves were super fucking tall. Um, and it made such a big difference playing through the game with that mod because you don't even realize that everybody is essentially, like, the same fucking height. <laughs> Until you put on a mod like that, and then you're like, oh. It's like such a small thing. Just changing the heights of the characters. The anime titties mod, that's also a good one. That's also a fantastic one. Oh, it was this wall in the trailer for Special Edition. They were like showing this ivy, they're like zooming in on it. They had the fucking god rays coming in heavy. They're like staring at it, like, look at it, special edition. And I'm, I'm really gonna fucking look at it, dude. Here we go. Oh, it's a, my cap sock is on for some reason. Here we go. Do that. Look at the texture. The fucking detail. Hell yeah, dude. Look at that. Whoa. It's so clean. It's so crisp and clean. What'd you do that with? What was that? What was that like paint? You did that with like Microsoft Paint? Fuck yeah. <laughs> I just remember that trailer for Special Edition. I was like, dude, it looks so good. Like, it actually looked really nice. Racial body morphs? Is that what it is? Maybe that is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just remember it made such a big difference, dude. Um, like, high elves are tall. Orcs are taller. They made Nords taller as well. And then you, like, you play as a wood elf and you're like, huh. Dad? Hoping that fucking that dumbass saber cat didn't spawn like over there. Kill the bunny. Kill the bunny. Kill the fucking bunny. Thank you. Alright, now you. Now you can die. Come here, bitch. Did I get fucking rock joint just then? Did I just get rock joint, or was that from my, uh... Okay, that was from my heal. I saw the little effect, and I was like, okay. Fucking hate rock joint. I hate rock joint, because it is by far the most annoying shit in the world. Like, of it, like as, as far as one of the diseases, and it... It comes from, like, the most basic enemy in the fucking game, which is just a wolf. And they're everywhere. But it's the most annoying fucking shit. Skyrim looks so gray without mods. Uh, yeah, you gotta think, too. It's also super overcast, so it's kind of supposed to look gray right now. There's, like, it's like foggy and shit. It's kind of supposed to. The special edition, I will say, brightened up Skyrim a lot. I gotta give it that. I'm actually a fan of the special edition. I know a lot of people were like, eww, gross. But my special edition 
was infinitely more stable with mods and ran so much smoother frame rate wise. Um, and even just the base special edition, like see now you're getting a little bit more color. You still got the fog and shit, but you get a little bit more color and things, but... Um, I was a fan of the special edition. I know people hated on it, because it's like, God, you released Skyrim for the 96th time. But I think it was actually pretty good. I don't know. I think it did its job. No thanks to you. Imperious races. So I can't remember, but I think Imperious is the one that I, I used for a long time, but I wasn't a fan of it. I think it was Imperious. I think. It was it was a it was a mod that might have been Imperious that changed the race the racial passives and it made Argonians a nightmare to kill. Because whenever they drop to, like, a 25% health or something, they get, like, insane health regen just passively. So anytime you fought an Argonian on, like, and if you're on, like, a legendary difficulty or something, like, you just sit there and wail on them and wail on them and wail on them and get them down to, like, a quarter health. And they just stand there and just regen right back up. I couldn't remember if it was Imperius or if it was another one. Try my best. Another milk drinker crying about their effort. Hey! Glory. Only awaits those who Look. triumph. Okay. And as companions, our glory must always You guys had it covered. Out. You guys had it handled. Like, I want my participation trophy, damn it. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in arms. The Fighters Guild was we better. Solve problems if the coin is good enough. That'll that'll show her. That'll show her. Can I join you? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to After she's talked all that shit. The old man's got a good sense for people. <laughs> he can look in your eyes and tell your worth. She was literally <laughs> like Good luck. <laughs> she was literally like you're such a pussy. You didn't do anything. And I'm like, "Can I join you?" Not for me to say. But maybe. <laughs> I love nighttime in this game. I usually hate nighttime in games, but the skybox in this game is so nice. Boop. 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 What up, fellow gamers? What up, Jimmy? Good to see you, buddy. It's so pretty. It's so pretty, dude. All of the ingredients. Have I eaten all of these? Mm, no. I can make some really shitty resist magic potions. They'll give me like 2%. Halt. City's closed with the dragon's Halt. Official business only. Uh... Fine, but we'll be keeping an eye on you. <laughs> Dad, I still love the response. If you play with a mod that turns your speech down from its base, like whatever it is, 15, right? Or, oh, it's, I guess it's 20 here. Uh, but if you start with a mod that turns some of your base st stats down, like I had one that let me like create a character like in Oblivion, where like I picked major skills that would be higher and then it set all my other ones to lower. You try to get through the fucking door and he's like, you looking for a beating? <laughs> like, the persuade just doesn't work. Like, you looking for a beating? With a great voice line in the world. Just really quick. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. Can we stomp your ass out? I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask your little for nap? for help? Nice! <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. 
Have it your way. You I'll take, take that from job, him. But don't expect a miracle. De Gray Mane or Battleborn. What? You got stones in your ears? I asked what side you're on. Gray Mane or Battleborn. Got stones in your ears? Okay, so you're Battleborn, so I'm gonna say Battleborn. Then I say, well met, friend. I could tell you were a sharp one the moment I laid eyes on you. <laughs> Long live the Empire. Yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Battleborn. Yeah. Dink. I used to be an adventurer like you. And I took an arrow in the knee. Oh, he said it. He said it. He said the thing. Have you met my father? No, I haven't. Steward at the Dragon's Reach. I have not. I don't care about your father. Oh, oh, oh he said it. <laughs> he said it. <laughs> the fucking Leonardo DiCaprio meme. I'm gonna come up here and get my buff real quick. Gotta get my health buff. There we go. I don't even remember what this is. I know it's health. What is it exactly? Fortify health, 25 points. That's pretty sick. That's pretty nice. That mean fits, right? It does. <laughs> it's like so perfect. Oh, wait. Yeah. Come up here. You can make bubbles for fire in the water near the big tree. Okay. Oh! It's a sauna. Oh, look at that. Just heat that shit up for you real quick. <laughs> See, that's that fucking shit, dude. Whoop. Hello. Poor chap. Just floating. Just hanging around. <clears throat> You can make bubbles if you fart underwater. See, so you say that until you accidentally poop in the water. Then there's no more farting. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgraf is not receiving visitors. Uh, da House Carl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. What if, like, I was the threat? Riverwood's in danger. <laughs> I have an entire army attacking it right now. You know about Helgen? The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Approach. Is that... <laughs> Just turned into a pile of dust. That, that's sad. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Uh... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, I had a great view. <laughs> They're trying to cut off my fucking head, dude. Got a great look at it. Really? You're certainly <laughs> forthright about your criminal past. But it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute. Especially now. What I want to know is what exactly happened at Helgen. Uh yeah, it's not there anymore. Um like it was there. But then this big thing with wings came, and now it's not there anymore. So. By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? 
Coral! <laughs> troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most they just let you talk to him in it, right? That dragon is lurking in the mountains. It's like she stops you. Like, you're just gonna walk in here and murder him, like, in the fucking Great Hall. ...preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should not... Enough! I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me. I know this feels I know this is like kind of weird cuz it's nighttime in game, but like well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done white run a service. I always felt like the halls should have more people in them. Take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Like just so more NPCs just in them. Particular talents, perhaps. Come. Let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. <laughs> Thanos snapped at fucking Elgin and was just gone. Inevitable. Dude, I already have this. He gave me a bunch of shit that I already have. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I thought I leveled up. I just forgot. That happens a lot. Um. Okay, yeah, we'll just keep it like it is. That's fine. I need a city, but almost as many. Yeah, I don't know, like... And maybe this has happened, and I just haven't been paying attention, but, like, it would be really cool if, like, once out of the week, there was, like, more people here... And, like, they did a feast or something, and, like, that was a date that you could, like, come and fucking... I don't know. Just, like, little shit like that. That's almost, like, Stardew Valley-esque, in a sense. But I just think it'd be cool. I don't know. Like, I love mods that add NPCs in the game, because I always felt like it was a little on the light side for me. Well, when I say fetch... I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. First pickpocket that garbage. <laughs> just, just slide it back in. It's like a whole ass fucking chess piece. And you're just like sliding it into his pocket. <laughs> Alright, where am I going and what am I fetching? Oh, that's funny. I never noticed that that is just, like, a huge... It's just, like, a huge jab at fetch quests. And I've, I'd never noticed that that was a, the, what that actually said. Just a, They just, like, shit on fetch quests right here. That's great. Straight to the point, eh? <laughs> no need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? <laughs> I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Yeah, exactly, Rock Smash, exactly. Anything you tell me? An old tomb built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. Miserable? I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. Miserable? <laughs> Talks all the shit. How do you know the stone tablet's really there? Well, you must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't you? I have my sources. Reliable sources. Let's see. Dude, look at all this shit. Oh my god. You know, if you've got the priority now, you should join the Mage's College in Winterhold. Dragons. Oh, okay. Cool. Um Of course, y'all. What if like Bethesda is just so self-aware? I'm sure he that like most useful. Like you said in before Skyrim's just one big fetch quest. Like obviously they just made fun of fetch quests right there. Um that's a pretty good magic potion actually. Um, what if they're just, like, so self-aware, and every time Todd Howard was talking about it works, like, he just knew it didn't, and he's just, like, super sarcastic. It's just super dry humor. 
He's like, don't worry. It just works. And he just knows. He's just talking so much shit. Why not use all three of them? Look at that shit. Nice. Damage, stamina, cool. Quit alchemy, yeah. I did this fetch quest before coming here. I was amazed I could. Yeah, um... That's what's great. Like, you don't actually have to come here. I do playthroughs all the time where I just avoid coming here. <laughs> I'll show up here when I'm, like, level 60. <laughs> but this time I just thought I'd play it kind of like... I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm playing it like I don't have, you know, 3,000 hours in the fucking game. Playing it like a normal person would, you know? Because I haven't played it in a long time, so... It works. It just... Mwah! It works. Alright, I actually need to, like, sell some shit. Everything's fucking closed, though. Uh... If you do the thing and you do it right and you don't fuck it up, it works. It just works. No, what is what is that referencing? That one went over my head. I might actually know what you're talking about, but that one went over my head. I wish there was consequences for fucking up in Skyrim. Do just about everything before I let the dragon spawn. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of... I like doing that as well. But like I said, I'm kind of just playing it like, you know... As Todd intended. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those Delethor, dude, you lazy fuck. Get up. Jontron? Oh, it's a Jontron reference. I actually am really, like, I'm not super up on my Jontron memes. I I really enjoy his videos. I just, like, I haven't seen as many as the rest of the internet, I'm slowly realizing. I'd even buy one of trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. I think he makes good shit, and, like, I've watched, like, every time I watch his videos, you know, they're, they're great. But I just, I've realized that I, I just don't watch him as much as. <laughs> I have four Imperial Swords. Okay, you can have those. Let's see here. You know what? Um, I'm going to save the jewels. Because I don't have a problem. You have a problem. I'm going to save all of my jewels. Because that's what I do. Take that mead. It's literally the only reason I had it. And then potions. We'll sell the jewelry, though. The jewelry. Sell that shit. Sell that. Sell that shit. Um, wait, did I sell the pelts? Or am I keeping those? Yeah, I'll keep those for right now. Cool, I fucking leveled up, dude. <laughs> uh, we'll do health. Do all the fucking health, dude. Um, now what do we want here, though? Because obviously, like, we want to just start throwing shit into here. You know, obviously, we just want to start throwing shit into the crafting stuff, right? Surely. Surely that's what we want to do. Yeah, I'm just going to go and grab it. You just start early, dude. It's just what you do. You start early. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. What of my son? What are you looking at? What I'm not afraid. Yeah, you don't know shit. Is he nothing? Even if you are my so elder. don't talk to me about Hey, suffering. shut up. <laughs> Your son chose his side and he chose poor Adults are talking. Go away. Such is the way of war. The God, I hate the kids in this game. The better. They're so annoying. Never accept his death. Man, I'm hungry. Still lives, I feel it. 
in my heart. So tell me. Man, I need a home. Man, I'm homeless. Man. God. Get a job. He's my prisoner. Face it, Cal. Your stupid son is dead. He died a storm. Did he just like? And you, you best keep your mouth shut before you suffer the same. <laughs> Come on, father. There's nothing more to be said here. Jesus Christ. All I think about is my son, my sword. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know. I love how that guy just admitted to like having her son in the fucking basement. They're in with the Imperials. They know it too, and yet they lie to my very face. Those bats were born. They're in with the Imperials. They know it too, and yet they lie to my very face. Well, how can you be sure he's alive? I just, I just know it. The killable kids mod. I can feel it in my heart. The mod's ridiculous, dude. You have to believe me. Please visit me at my home. I can tell you the whole story. Is there a mod that adds, like, teenagers to this game? Like, kids that aren't six, but they're not, like, full-grown adults. Because they literally go from there to, like, that lady. Like, they just wake up one day and they're, like, 65 years old. I'm the commander of the guard here in White Run. What's up? Sometimes I miss the soldier's life, but when I hold my daughter in my arms, I know I made the right choice. You're not from Skyrim, are you? <laughs> no, friend. That I'm not. But I get along with your kind well enough. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. Omrin. Nice. What are you arguing about? My Sather doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. <laughs> this card is just lurking. He made using that weapon. <laughs> I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. He's just fucking lurking on this conversation. <laughs> you need help? I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby, but I'm no fool. I'd need the White Run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Isn't his sword just like a huge sword, piece of shit? Like his sword's like not even really worth it. Did I get her her quest? Oh yeah. Okay, let's go do Bleak Falls Barrow now that we've got Let her quest at least. Stole, stole your sweet roll. Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me. But that bard is the worst. You get a lot of t lot of attention, you know. You've got no idea. Half the men in White Run have proposed to me. Some were even single. Mm -hmm. They'll never understand. No amount of flowers or honeyed words are going to change my mind. Right cuts, now, all that matters is my daughter Mila. Mm -hmm. No man's going to get between me and my little girl. Did you raise your prices, Carlotta? That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat the way he goes on about me. Yeah. I heard him boasting at the bannered mare saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. Damn. <laughs> sorry to hear that and just walk away. <laughs> really sorry to hear that. People shouldn't talk to you that way and I just like slowly back out of the conversation. <laughs> Okay. Cool. Got that quest now. Oh yeah, you're the one. Right. I'm going to buy the bannered mare from Holda. Why are you looking at me? Go away. She do got that wagon though. Uh, yep. Before my ma and da passed, I told them that one day. I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the yeah. caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. Mm. Maybe I can help you. You'd do that? If you find one, I could teach mm -hmm. you a thing or two about trading. 
help you get a fair bargain in the future? Sure. All right, cool. Fair Got that quest too. I work with my mother. Okay, I'm gonna come over and see. Again, I don't remember how the smithing and shit works in this game. Um, that doesn't have mods. Okay, cool. So the pelts I can just make into leather. Great. Cool. And then, yep, the so wolf pelts. And then I can make them into leather strips. And smith shit. How much does leather even weigh? I don't actually know. Two weight? Is that like per? I don't I don't actually remember anything about this fucking game, it seems like. So if I drop let's see, what what's my carry weight? One ninety five? So if I drop all ten. Oh no, they're fucking it's a piece. Okay. We'll keep Riverwood safe. It's literally fucking twenty, Jesus. Um, I should probably sell this shit or disenchant it or something. Let's move out. Time to waste. Okay, let's uh, let's just turn it into leather strips then, because these weigh less. There we go. Cool. Does that help your smithing at all? It doesn't. Oof. I mean, I guess it's not technically smithing, it's fucking tanning hide. That peach cart is, you got that ass! You know. You know what I'm talking about. Do I not have... Oh no, I do. Oh, I have two sets of fucking... God damn it, that's why I'm so over. I didn't even realize I had two of these. Fuck all of it. I don't care. There we go. Now my carry weight's normal. Oh, wait. I can sell it to you guys. I didn't realize the caravans were here either. My bad, dude. Go away. Hey, you want to buy this shit? Take a look. Take a look. Okie dokie. Cool. Okie dokie. You guys got any wheat farms around here that I can rob? I always thought that was like the most disrespectful shit in the world. You can just roll up to somebody or, or somebody's farm and just take all of their crops. Somebody's worked their whole life. Like getting like getting this farm ready. You just walk up and just snatch everything. <clears throat> Gives XP for tanning leather and smelting ores for what it's called though. Yeah, there's a lot of like really good smithing mods that I really enjoy. But again, I just kinda wanted to go for the experience. Haven't had the experience in a while. Oh, you're aiming at me. Wait, stop that. Oh. Bandit Chief. Wait, what? Oh, no. Where, where the fuck? Excuse me? Why did? Why are there like three of you? Wait. This is not okay. Wait. Ow, dude. That fucking hurts. The fact that's a Bandit Chief is not okay. If the two-handed one hits me, I'm gonna die. If the dude with the fucking greatsword hits me, I'm, I'm dead. Oh shit, I might be dead. Don't turn around, just keep going this way. Oh! Oh! Oh shit. Why the fuck are these guys here? I don't understand. Ah, the cabbages protect me. Oh, shit. Oh! Come on, Khajiit merchants. Kill them. Yes. Fight my minions. Yes. 
fight and die. <laughs> oh my god, wait, they're dunking everybody. Did I just... God damn it. I accidentally hit the fucking merchant instead of the chief. God damn it. That's why I didn't want to get involved. I hit the... F god damn it. Okay, that's better than what I have. Do I have an iron shield? I do, right? Yeah, I've already got one. I've already got one. Go ahead and uh, drop that shit for right now. I don't need it. At least they let me yield, which is good. Okay. I may have a slight bounty. I'm actually going to grab this. I'm going to sell this stuff. Kajitwe comes. <laughs> Skyrim Nuzlocke? What is that? I've heard of that with, like, Pokemon. But... I'm not exactly 100% sure, like, what that is. What, what else did I pick up? Did I only pick up the armor? I didn't pick up anything else? Oh, no, it was this. Yeah. So that shit, too. Cool. How much gold do I have? 657, dude. I'm rich. It's being dumb. Oh. But, like, what is it, though? Because I've heard of that shit before. Please don't be a fucking, like, saber tooth or something. Saber cat, please. When your Pokemon faint, they're considered dead. You can't play with them anymore. Oh. Gotcha. Is what's the one where you have to catch or you like as soon as you find or the first time you encounter a Pokemon you have to catch them and use that Pokemon. What is that called? Like if you have space in your lineup, like you have to use that. Uh Riot, thank you for the eight months, dude. Thank you. Self-imposed challenge. Oh, gotcha, Clone Blade, gotcha. This is a regular bandit. This guy's this guy's terrible. Rock beats arrow. Oh, there's three specific rules, okay. I imagine that could be fun. It sounds fun if you're like really good at Pokemon. Just like want another challenge, you know? Because, like, I remember going back and playing Pokemon games. I can't remember when it was. I went back and played, like, Sapphire or something. When was that? A few years ago. And I was shocked at how much easier the game was than I remember. <laughs> I was like, dude, I remember this game being so fucking complicated when I was younger. Like, it's still... It's still was fun, and the gameplay loop is fun. Like, there's a reason the games are popular, but I was like, dude, this game is not as hard as I remember it being. So, like, I could definitely see how, like, a challenge like that could be cool. Start with lowest skills, even if a mod is needed, no starting spells, no fast travel, permadeath, etc. Gotcha. Yeah, it would, it, you'd probably just give yourself a bunch of rules. Which, I mean, you could do. I just... You know. Sometimes I think this game is just really nice to play. Like, without the challenge, it's nice to casually play. Oh, there's a falling animal. Gotta love it. Oh, here's the here's the road. Realizing I could grind to level up as an adult made me realize how bad I was as a, as a child. Yeah. Like I remember, I would always like 
get to like some of the fights were so hard because I wouldn't actually like train at all. Like I wouldn't train my Pokemon really. Or I'd have like one just ridiculously overpowered one and the rest of my team sucked and I'd get to the fucking uh I'd get to like end game. And even some of like the basic trainers in like end game were stronger than most of my team by like several levels and I was like, "Oh my god." Otherwise, this game's so hard. I'd always end up buying, like, 8 million full restores. Just because I, like, I would just get my fucking ass beat constantly. Just try to do the fights right. Yeah. Oh, new gym? Cool. Let's do it. <laughs> Man, I used to play so much fucking Pokemon. It's crazy. What's the shit with that, uh... The new Pokemon they're doing is, like... It's, like, an over-the-shoulder Pokemon or some shit? Or they're, like... I saw people comparing it to, like, Breath of the Wild or something. There was, like, similar shots in the trailer or something like that to Breath of the Wild. Man, three months. Dude, I only started following you towards the end of 2020, and you kept entertained with the videos, bro. Thanks for that, dude. Much love, man. No, <laughs> Cody, thank you. Thank you, buddy. I'm uh, really happy you're enjoying the content. Thank you. And thank you for the three months of the Tier 1. It's huge. Remaking Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Dude, I don't even remember all the games. I remember my favorite one. But also the one that I was most frustrated with was the the one with the legendary dogs. Like, my big ones, I was yellow version. Uh, silver version. Sapphire. And whatever the fucking one was with the dogs, was it Crystal? Or whatever the fuck that was? The one with the legendary dogs. The one that I, I really fucked with hard. Those were the ones that I that I had, and like those were the ones that I played. Like, heavy. That's close enough. Yeah, I fucking love those. Those are my shits. Oh, damn. She actually hit me. I didn't think she would. She actually fucking reached me with that. So let me heal real quick. I'll be, I'll be with you in just a second. Tell your moms I said what's up. Mm. Such senseless violence, dude. We could have just talked about this, you know? Didn't have to go this way. Where the fuck are you at? Oh, you're over here. Look at you. Holding your bow all sideways and shit. Haha. Uh -huh. Nerd. Ow. Owned. Owned. Bum 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 Mine. Yoink. Hi, yoink. Apples are gross. I don't want them. Unless they're baked into a pie with cinnamon and sugar. Surely that won't kill me. That will. <laughs> oh, I don't have a pickaxe. <laughs> Chat, remind me to pick up a pickaxe. Whenever I see one, because I'll walk around this whole fucking game and not pick one up. 2011? Yeah, yeah. 
It did. 2011. Such a long time ago, dude. I remember whenever I had this, or whenever I first got this game, I couldn't read shit that was going on on the screen because um, I didn't have an HD TV. You guys are gonna fucking like make fun of me, but I didn't have an HD TV. I had like a uh, one of those box TVs, you know, like the big bitch, and it made the font super fucking small. Whenever you tried to play this game on like one of those. Like, the font was so tiny. I was, like, trying to read this shit, and I was, like, doing one of these. And, like, most of the time, I just had to guess. Like, if it was, like, towards the corner of the screen, I'd just have to guess, like, what the fuck the, the, the text said. Yeah, no, it was hard, man. Like, if you had your 360 hooked up to a non-HD TV, or, like, a widescreen TV... <laughs> the fucking font would be like size two. You're like, eh. Uh. It's like you're at the eye doctor. Taking one of those fucking tests. You're just making shit up. <laughs> oh. Good times, man. Good times. These fucking TVs were so just obnoxiously heavy. Like, I actually had couches that probably weighed less. Thank you, Inchu. Thank you, buddy. I will be sure to pick up the pickaxe. I will try to remember. Owned. Found a box TV at the dumpster where I lived in Germany, and I've like two weeks of sitting out there and it raining. One sunny day, I, I decided to pick that bitch up and carry it up three flights of stairs, and all that hard work paid off because it still worked. Really? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> God damn. I don't even know if it's worth it. <laughs> Things are so fucking big, man. Like, uh, we drove by one the other day that was outside. But it was, like, one of those big box TVs. But it was, like, the one that had the stand attached to the bottom of it. You guys know what I'm fucking talking about? It It was, like, a stand that was, like, a, a few feet, like, tall. And it was a huge screen. Like, fucking... I don't know. I don't know what big was for those box TVs. But it was, like, one of the really big ones that had the stand attached to the bottom of it. And it was outside. And on the side of it, it just said it had a sign that said, Free if you can pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> we drove by that and had a big ass sign tape to it. Just said free if you can pick it up. Like, you could just tell the people that moved it out of their fucking house, like, got that shit out there and was like, fuck it. I don't care how long it sits there. We're not helping you. Do not care. Control on a good CRT. Low res looked every bit as good as modern high res monitors. Crazy. Yeah, no, so the CRT monitors are actually still really popular for people that play like competitive shit because um, there's like there's like no response time on a CRT. So like it's it's literally not even like you're you're talking like most monitors will have anywhere from like two milliseconds to five milliseconds of response time. Like the modern ones and those CRTs had like none. So some of those are still really popular. Like, don't they still use those in uh, for like um, like melee tournaments, like Super Smash Bros. melee tournaments? Don't they still use the CRT shit? Definitely use the CRTs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Built with the old CRTs in mind. Well, the, dude, have you guys? Do you guys remember? Did any of you have, like, an old plasma? Like, visual quality, like, visual fidelity, dude. Plasmas were so beautiful. 
they were just super expensive and broke really easy. <laughs> but plasma TVs, dude, like the the visual like fidelity of those of those fucking TVs was so clean that even like modern TVs, like if you compare them directly side by side to a plasma TV, like a nice plasma TV from back in the day, they're, they're like, it's like wow. <laughs> It's kind of nuts. That burn in, yeah, yeah. But now, dude, those old plasma TVs, man, they were fucking killer. Um, I never fucking do this, but I might start putting some points into stamina. I like to get my health to 200 before I start doing that. But if I'm going to be doing melee, I might as well. I can't do anything there. If I'm going to do more melee stuff, I might as well throw that shit in there. And then... Where's, where's fucking alchemy? Where's it at? Go ahead and do that. Just throw points in these early ones. Because I, I still don't know specifically like what I want to put stuff into. Yeah, do you, do you mind uh, holding that arrow while I pick this chest really quick? Just, just, just for a second. Hang on. Almost got it. Hang on. Yep. Okay, now you can release. Yep. Got a new one. We got that one. Never had a problem. Yeah, like... I mean, they were expensive, too, though. I can't blame him. <laughs> Can't blame him, man. Set a game mode on your plasma, the timings were all off. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, old technology is so funny to me. Like, it's kind of like with um, how they're re releasing movies now in 4K. The movies, like, they've been shooting movies like cameras have been able to capture 4k quality since like the fucking 70s or some shit it's like 70s or 80s but we've just now gotten to a point where like the consumer can afford to buy the technology that can then display the quality that cameras were capturing it's like the craziest shit in the world it's so weird to me how, like, people think that, like, 4K is, like, this new fucking thing, or was, you know, and now they're getting more into, like, fucking 8K or whatever. Like, that's, like, the new shit that I keep seeing on TVs and stuff. Um, But it's just crazy to me. Like, all these movies that are, quote-unquote, getting released in 4K, like, they've already had the footage for it. There was, it was already shot in, like, that super fucking high quality. They're just repackaging it and releasing it. Which, I mean, I'm fine with. Like, I'm still super excited whenever I can get my hands on uh, the 4K of Lord of the Rings. It's, like, sold out everywhere, unfortunately. But, um, at least around me. But I'd be super excited to, like, see that in 4K. Like, that true fucking 4K. Beautiful. Because those, those movies came out at the beginning of fucking 2000s. 2001, 2, and 3. <laughs> Turn that fucking guy on the Simpsons. What is it? Uh, snake, snake, dolphin. Loser. Might have peed a little bit from laughing too hard. That's dope. That's dope. I'm trying to think if I actually have ever peed myself from laughing. I have. I have. I was in third grade. It was late at night, and me and my brother were, like, we used to share a bedroom. I don't even remember what he did. I was in third grade. But, like, it, he probably farted or something, and I just started laughing. And I was like, dude, don't make me laugh. I have to pee. And I literally just pissed everywhere. <laughs> 
I do I do remember now. You just like you just like unlocked like probably a repressed memory. <laughs> After having a baby you might be a little Oh right! I forgot that shit happened. I forgot that happened. Like, I remember I worked at a retail place for a little while, um, like, early mornings doing, like, clothes. Like, hanging stuff up and, like, folding and stuff. It was, like, 3 a.m. shift, right? Because it was, a like, a retail place for clothes. So I was literally just doing all the freight that came in off the truck. And I worked with a lady, and she had just had a baby. And, like, she would literally have to bring like changes of of pants and stuff because if she sneezed she would pee herself or like if she if she laughed or coughed too hard she would like pee herself i felt so bad i didn't know that, that was a thing but like if she like if we just saw her like walk off or whatever like nobody ever said anything we we're just like okay whatever this is like a pretty small team and we we're like oh okay we know what happened but I had no idea that was a thing. Make makes sense, but like, you know. <laughs> it's fucking Yeah, I mean, you know. You have a literal human inside of you that just is like, hey, I'm gonna come out now. I hate this fucking spider, dude. No, oh, fuck you. Okay, um I'm gonna put this on four. Alright. Come here, dude. Get it away from me. Get it away. Ow. Oh my god. Fucking s Fucking poison, dude. I hate this spider so much. That made me curious, so I just googled 35mm is between 1080 and 4K natively. 70mm is apparently about 6.5, according to a red film forum. Really? Yeah, like... So that's the thing. Like, we've had technology to, like... Like, the, the movies and shit that were shot... Fucking 20 years ago were, like, in 4K quality. Like, the original source film was like in 4k quality dude which is crazy there's just so it just it's just now like the technology is affordable right so like to like mass produce and put in people's homes oh shit <laughs> not even close Hey there, bud. Hey there, bud. Yeah, just farm some levels real quick. No big deal. So let me just just farm some levels right quick. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish it like a man. Come here. That's right. I fought it honorably. Gimme. Gimme. Big ass hole, dude. Oof. You're not the only one to do that fight like this. Yeah, no, fuck that spider. I really, like, frostbite spiders... Anything that poisons in this game is, like, the most annoying shit in the world. Like, Charis. Fuck Charis. And and the Reavers, they can, they can suck dick, too. And it poisons me. I hate it. Over here. What up, dude? You did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Where's the claw? 
Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Okay. Uh, I love his response to this. Does it look like I can move? <laughs> you have to cut me down first. <laughs> I hate this, though, because he wakes up all the Draugr. If you just murder him immediately, he doesn't wake them up and he can sneak attack all the Draugr, but this is fun, too. It's coming loose. I can feel it. You fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? Fuck, he's busy. Okay, so you just run off, dude. Don't worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna loot some shit real quick. Yeah, you just run off over there. You go die. You go die, I'm just gonna loot. No big deal. No worries, brah. No worries, brah. Yeah, he's just gonna get clapped real quick. Can you keep him alive? I've never done it. Like, can you actually kill all the Draugr and keep him alive till the end, or no? Like, does he just die to something stupid? Like, no matter what, does he just run over a trap or something? Oh, boy. Dude, that shit was gonna hurt. Stream. Later, Cody. What's his name? Arvel the Swift. Not swift enough, apparently. Ooh. With the spins. Put my mans in a blender, dude. All right, this restless Draugr over here is a huge dick. Nice. This guy right here, if he has the frost magic, he's a huge fucking asshole. You got the frost magic, dude? Yep, he's got the frost magic. Can you shoot these? I've always wondered that. <laughs> okay, so you can. Dope. Now I know. <laughs> Ooh. Boy. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. fucking arrows. No. Yay. Yay. Good shit. Loving speech is such a pain in this game. Yeah. I mean, once you have enough money to do it, can't you just buy and sell, like... Like, buy shit sell it, buy shit, and, like, since you have enough money, you can, like, afford to lose gold, essentially. Can't you just keep, like, rebuying and reselling shit to the same person? Like, if you really just wanted to, like, power level it. Oh, well. I'm just gonna 
cook his ass. That's right, bitch. That's right. All right, works for me. Come on, baby, step out. Go and swing. Ow! I didn't expect that to actually fucking hit me. Haha, uh -huh, nerd. Haha, uh -huh, nerd. Oh boy. I don't know when I saved it. Apparently I didn't save it. That fucking sucks. That one hurts. That one, that one stings a little bit. It's my own fault. I shouldn't have died to that guy, but that's okay. That's okay. Just fucking re-kill everybody. It sucks though, I had a lot of level ups. I had a level up, like I could have used a level up to heal. I just didn't. <laughs> now what did we learn? Dude, I have a friend that literally is so bad about quick saving in Bethesda games that he puts it on like his fucking mouse button. He puts quick save literally on one of his mouse buttons because he can't remember to hit F5. Like, I, I'm i normally really good about saving. I didn't expect to die there because I was sitting on a level up like as just a get out of jail free card. And I, I could have used it, but then I realized that I was still in range of that guy when he was, like, winding up, so... It's okay. It happens. Just redo it. Has your favorite lockpicking mechanics? Oblivion might be better. Yeah, just getting the skeleton key and then just spamming just auto-pick in Oblivion. It's the greatest thing ever. You never quick save either. Yeah, it's um I'm usually really good about it. I just fucking I really shouldn't have died to that guy. It's like a lot of it. We get to watch this guy die again though, so that's always fun. I love Oblivion. Oblivion is my favorite Elder Scrolls, even with all of its, uh, like, glaring issues. Um, it's my favorite, and it's just because that was, like, the first one, dude. That was the first one for me, where I played it, and I was like, wow. Like, I was actually old enough to understand Oblivion, like, somewhat, because I played it, you know, I mean, when, it, when did it come out? Like, 06, I think, so I was, I think, 12 when I first played it. Which I, so I was finally old enough to understand it because I had Morrowind. I got Morrowind pre-owned. That was the first Elder Scrolls I played, but I wasn't old enough to understand everything that went on in Morrowind. Like Morrowind was a very deep game, and so, I mean it still is a deep game. But like, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of reading, and like I just wasn't young enough to like, or wasn't old enough to like comprehend it completely, you know, and understand all the mechanics that went on. So Oblivion was the first one that made me like, like wow. Grab that. The one where you went into the painting and the the murder mystery in the castle. The whole Dark Brotherhood in Oblivion was so deep and so interesting. And like the overall story of like the betrayal and like you like you realize you're just being used, like, and you have no idea what the fuck is going on. Still is one of the, 
best written storylines on top of like the really like unique ways that you can go about killing people in oblivion like fulfilling the contracts and stuff it's just still one of the one of the best quest lines in any game that i've ever played even going back and doing it now like obviously i know how to do all of the stuff and i kind of remember like what is going on but it's still just like so well done to me like i remember like there was the contract where you had to kill the the guard captain um and it, it told you like in the notes or whatever that like the only time he ever took off his armor was to go swimming and so you had to wait on him to go swimming and so you could hit him with the rose of sithis you, could, you so you could shoot him with that fucking like specialty arrow but it wouldn't work on him if he had his armor on and so you had to wait on him to go swimming and then hit him with a fucking arrow while he's swimming around and shit like there's very well done like little shit like that was so cool about that game it's got scaling issues though like i know the issues with oblivion oblivion like the 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 difficulty curve in oblivion even if you leave it on normal is like this <laughs> it's, it's like oh, okay yeah this game's challenging okay it's pretty challenging okay i hit level seven it just skyrockets through the roof everybody's so fucking strong like motherfuckers are spawning with like daedric armor out of nowhere like the so the scaling in oblivion is really bad um i really enjoy the level up system to an extent i think the level up system is very interesting uh but sometimes it can get a little tedious and annoying like just spam jumping everywhere to level acrobatics um fucking having your acrobatics so high that you're taking fall damage because you jump and like you're slightly elevated off the regular ground and but you, your acrobatics is so high that you actually literally take fall damage just because you jumped from like a slightly elevated spot like it's just so annoying but i i still love oblivion I, it's just everything about it was just very good The quests were very interesting. The side quests were interesting. I still like to stream it. Like, I haven't streamed it in a while, but, like, whenever I do, it's always a good time. Just people just vibe out and just hang out and chill. Ninja Flippy, how are you? Didn't tell you to level up. Yeah, you had to sleep to, like, level up and fucking... You could only... Like, so if you power leveled something oblivion system kept you from power leveling because you could power level things but it would fuck your level up really hard because your attributes only went up based off of what skill you leveled up for that like group so like if you power leveled sneak your attributes that governed sneak that would be the only thing that you could like raise would be the, the sneak thing right like it was so it was like a system that went against just power leveling one thing you could do it but your attributes would be all fucked up because you'd only get like a plus you know you get a plus I don't know six or whatever the fuck it was for your attribute that you didn't really need because all you did was power level sneak. Does that make sense? Like, those, some of you know what I'm talking about. Some of you won't understand, but... It was a really intricate system, and I thought it was really cool. Obviously, with Skyrim, they, like, opened it up a little bit more. Because, like... It would be the equivalent of... If Skyrim forced you to put your perk point in like the skill that you leveled up the most during that level so i'm level three right now if i power leveled fucking sneak again it would force me to put my perk point into sneak but instead it just gives me a perk point and i can put it into anything 
that's like open. That's the, the appropriate level. But Oblivion didn't do that. Oblivion was like, oh, you power leveled a a, a, a skill. Okay, cool. So because you did that, the attribute that governs that skill is the only thing that you can like that that's gonna get like a nice boost. Mix up your skills, yeah, and a lot of people did. It's to, to be quite frank, like the the Skyrim leveling system is less. It's more casual, which I think is it, it makes it more approachable, which also makes it to where like it's it's less devastating um, late game. Oblivion, if you fucked up your level ups, your game got really hard really fast. Um, whereas, like, this game, it, it, it's not so devastating if you put some points into a skill that you're, you don't use a lot, or you waste, quote-unquote, waste some perk points. You don't, you don't really waste them, but you know what I mean? Like, if they don't go directly into a specific build or something you're doing, it doesn't fuck you. Whereas, like, <laughs> you can kind of fuck yourself a little bit <laughs> in the other ones. <laughs> Should play it again. Dude, it's, it's so much fun. I still really enjoy it. Please. It's also just like... I love the... the fantasy level in Oblivion. Like, the fantasy aspect. Like, Skyrim, obviously, it's fantasy, right? But it's still got a grounded realism to it. Whereas, Oblivion, because of the colors and the... Everybody always talks about the bloom and things like that. Um, and also, like, the wacky hairstyles, like the fucking like adoring fan with the huge, like, fucking ice cream swirl on top of his head. Like, the wacky hairstyles and the... the the overdone character features, like High Elf's faces are just like these really stretched out, like, to be honest, they're a mess, but like they're like stretched out and just the, the, the overdone character features, I really, really love. It's like fantasy to an extreme, which is cool. I think it's cool. It's just that aspect is not always as approachable to more people. This appealed to so many people because it, it does have that more grounded realism quote unquote realism aspect. Even with a fucking dragon flying around like you you know kind of just feel like a person. Over here. You know? You did it. You killed it. Okay. Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stars. Where are all my cheese wheels? I think I've only found like. Oh no, I haven't actually found a whole cheese wheel yet. Sweet breath of arcade, thank you. I thought I did. I just don't have them. I can feel it. You fool! Why should I share the treasure with that? You fool! Ah, you fool! It's mine, my treasure, and mine alone. Nobody gets my treasure but me. <laughs> Ugh. Dude, I cannot wait for fucking this cold weather to subside. I cannot fucking tell you guys how bad it is tearing up my throat. I need a fucking... I need a humidifier in here so bad. This dry-ass air... cannot wait for it to start getting just a little bit warmer. I don't want it to be hot. But like, you know, 60s, 70s. I see you over there, dude. That's right, dude. I'm hitting them all. Fucking clapping them all, dude. I see your ass. Yeah. I think you're cute. Sorry, right, run away. 
Owned. Oof. <laughs> the dead guy could use a humidifier too. He's a little dried out. My fucker needs some uh, needs some cocoa butter. You know, a little bit of a little bit of moisturizer. He's a little ashy. The Dwemer ruins and just getting lost. Yeah, those were those were fucking huge. I kind of wish. Like, the Dwemer Ruins are really cool. I just, I hate the fucking enemies in them. Like, I don't know if they did that on purpose, like, knowingly. Like, we're gonna make this place really cool to explore. And, like, this really interesting place. But we're also gonna fill it with the most obnoxious, annoying shit in the world. Between the Falmer and the Charis... And the fucking spheres that hit, like, trucks. And then the centurions, like... It, you, you take the most fun place to explore and fill it with the least fun enemies in the fucking world to fight. Like, they, they, they had to know what they were doing. What do I know about being ashy? I'm ashy all the fucking time. Doesn't show, obviously. Because of my skin complexion, but I see it. I can fucking feel it. I keep lotion everywhere. I have some of the driest fucking awful skin in the world. Your feet are fucked up, Ashy Ray. Right? It's a sad, sad day. Like, like, you're down real bad whenever you're as pale as I am and you can still see that I'm ashy. You can, you, like, when you're as pale as me and I can look down and be like, damn, it down real fucking bad. Yeah, no, I have lotion in, like, every room of the fucking house. I actually have, um, I used to have, like, prescription shit, uh, for my hands, because my hands would get so bad that I couldn't, I would lose feeling. Like, my skin would literally get so dry I would lose feeling. Please, no. Oh, okay, so I guess I'm just dead, because I don't have any stamina. <laughs> um, this is why I hate this motherfucker. Uh, you know what? Give me this. Wait, what? Oh. He won't go on this side of the fucking gate. <laughs> Got his ass. Have you tried shea butter? No, I haven't. I haven't. Um, there's that, and there's another thing that somebody told me to try. Um, but I used to have that problem because I, whenever I used to play basketball, um, my hands would get so fucking dry that I couldn't feel the ball anymore. So obviously, that's a fucking problem. Whenever you can't, like, you know, you try to shoot a ball and you can't feel it on your hands. You know you're holding it. And I know I'm holding something, but I would lose all my feeling because my hands would just get so fucking dried out. It's just like dead skin. And obviously, you don't have any feeling in dead skin. So, like, I couldn't do everything I needed to do. So I had this shit. It was like this prescription shit, and it was great. It would literally just, like, coat my hands. And it was awesome. But I don't have that shit anymore. And so now, I just, like, I'm just, you know, I got Nivea, the big-ass blue bottle, <laughs> and I'm just, like, just, like, dumping it on me. Oh. <laughs> uh. 
Oh man. Do I wash with a cloth or my hands? I just use the the bar. Yeah, it with my hands. I'm a fucking I'm a heathen. Yeah, I just use bar soap, which probably doesn't help the matter. Use a cloth. I've heard that, yeah. I use a cloth, is that bad? No, that's what you're supposed to do. Like, technically, like, it's better to use a cloth rather than a bar. Especially if you have, like, a shared bar of soap. I don't. Kylie uses some sort of, like, other body wash. But, um, like, you know, it's you, you take the bar, you lather up the fucking cloth, and then that, you know, works better for you. And it, like, also helps to, like, get the cloths like help get dry skin and dead skin and stuff like off of your body whenever you're washing because it's like a textured um material i'm just so bad about that shit <laughs> like I, I want my showers to be quick so i like hop in you know just fucking hop in and i'm like okay let's wash 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 and i'm done Um, one of our friends, actually, that cuts my hair, uh, she gets mad at me all the time because she asks me, like, I, I get, like, super dry scalp, and she was like, she's like, are you using that shampoo I told you to use? And I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I can tell. It's just, I'm, I'm just a fucking, I'm a pathetic gamer boy. Just doesn't take care of himself at all. <laughs> I'm like, fuck your nice moisturizing shampoo that I'm sure would be great for my hair and skin. Fuck that. I'm going to use this. What is this? Laundry detergent. Dump that shit. Lather it up. and just fucking... <laughs> The ingredients of it are like gasoline and dog shit. Ouch. <laughs> Raw shea butter? Okay, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Let's see. Yeah, those winter months fucked me up really bad. Especially since I since I moved to Ohio, when I lived in Arkansas, it wasn't as bad. The air isn't as dry; it's a, it's a lot more humid. Um, so I feel like I don't dry out as bad. When, ever since I moved to Ohio, every winter, like fall and winter, I feel like I turn into a fucking raisin. Just all the moisture out of the air and my body and everything is just sucked out. And like I hate it here. Like I like. I know not a lot of people like humid air. <laughs> they don't like humidity. I liked it whenever I could step outside and I just feel like I like I, just, just just moisture. You know, you walk outside and you can feel it on your skin. It's like oh, it's like oh, it's it's wet outside, but it's not. It's just that thick humidity. I fucking love that. MQ, what up, dude? How you doing? You <laughs> Man, it used to, like, I, I miss it, though. I miss it. Ever since I moved here, you know, obviously I've been here long enough now, but I still miss it. That muggy fucking... It's like 98 degree heat. 200% humidity. It's great. Fucking awesome. Just everybody's shirt smells like mildew. Just everybody's. Because there's no way to escape it.
sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, that? Okay, he got fucked up. Ow, dude. I gotta kill you before your friend gets here. Mommy! Okay, wait, let me come back here and just say that shit. That's what Florida felt like? Oh, I bet. Uh, it's just, that's just what it is. That's what it is. No, let's fucking... I, I will say, one of the things I don't miss at all about a southern summer um, is is burning myself. Legitimately, like, branding myself with my seatbelt. Getting in a car in, like, a short sleeve or a fucking, like, tank top or something and that fucking seatbelt right there, dude. That... Oh my god. You know, it's 103 degrees outside and your car's like an oven already and you get in and you just lean back against that fucking seat belt. I can't... It, I, I don't miss it at all. They can keep that. They can keep all that. Man, winter's fucked me up. I have to constantly change rubber gloves at work. Your hands are so dry. They're almost bleeding. Dude, same. Fucking same. Yeah, that fucking seatbelt burn. <clears throat> I will say, I feel like I got, like, from from the areas that I've lived, I feel like I've gotten both ends of the spectrum. Like, living in Ohio, I've gotten, like, really, really bad winters and dry-ass fucking weather, and then living in Arkansas and different places of Arkansas... Uh, because, like, I've lived in, like, the Delta area of Arkansas, too, and it's, like, just, just, like I said, just that thick, like, muggy air. Like, so I've had, like, a extremely humid, really hot, really dry, but I still think that, like, winter in Arkansas feels great. Like, fall, winter, I think Arkansas weather is the, is perfect. It's, like, hoodie weather. It feels like you have an air conditioning just lightly blowing on your face while you're sleeping. Just just very lightly, very gently. It's not so harsh, right? But then I moved here, and the wind is so bad that it, it makes me feel like there's razor blades hitting my face. It's like 25 mile an hour, fucking... Uh, you can't even open your eyes. <laughs> Where is here anyway? I live in Northern Ohio right now. I lived in Columbus for a while, but now I live in Northern Ohio. And let me tell you. <laughs> these fucking 30 mile an hour winds can eat my butthole. Yeah. Freezing cold or blazing hot. Yeah. <laughs> leather seats. Yeah, I don't like leather anything anymore. Me and Kylie saw a really good deal. We've been looking for a new couch because the one we have is literally the bottom is falling out of it. So whenever you sit on it, like you can't even get back out of it. It's old as fuck. We've had it forever and we got it from somebody else for like a hundred bucks. Uh, and it served us well, but we need a new one. And we, I like, we saw a really good deal on a leather one, and I was like, no, I don't feel like peeling myself off of the couch with a spatula every time I get up. No, I'm not doing it. Not to mention, like, leather doesn't breathe to me. Like, it, like I don't know if that's just me, but like, I sit in leather, and it's just immediate swamp ass. It's, it's what it feels like. I just sit. And I just feel wherever I am sitting is just immediately sweating. It doesn't breathe. And I don't know if that's just like... Like, I've sat on, like, really nice, real leather, and it still doesn't breathe at all. Like, I have a mesh computer chair now. 
because I got tired of, like, leather shit. I got the fucking mesh chair because I I got tired of, like, the leather and the fake leather shit. I can't. I just can't. So now I'm fucking with mesh, and if they make a mesh couch, I might buy it. Can you imagine that shit? <laughs> it's like a m fucking couch, but it's like a Herman Miller mesh couch. <laughs> that shit would be great, actually. Now that I think about it, it wouldn't be too bad. Swear by leather seats because it's easier to clean with kids. You got to condition it and shit. Yeah, you got to like oil it. Yeah, you love leather jackets, but leather seats, fuck no. Leather jackets are comfortable, I'll give you that. I like leather jackets. You live in northwestern Ohio? Dude, the fucking wind is awful. Only 15k for a Logitech Herman Miller gamer couch. I'd, I'd, uh, I'd save up. Act like I have 15k to spend on a fucking gamer couch. The, we were looking at, like, the clearance section at the fucking furniture store. We saw one for, like, 400 bucks, and we're like, hey! Look at that! I can't even pretend like I'd spend $15,000 on a couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that fucking... I can't do the leather, man. I can't do it. Can't do it. Not anymore. We've got right now, we got this, um, a few years ago, we got this $70 recliner. It was like brand new when we got it, but we got it from like a, a fucking like thrift store basically, but it was like new. Like literally looked like somebody donated it new. Um, and it's like this, it's cloth. But it's like this pseudo suede. And I love this fucking chair so much. It's, our, it's the like only recliner that we have. But I love that fucking chair. It's so comfortable and so soft. And Kylie's like, you know, we'll have to replace it sometime. And I'm like, the hell we are. This thing is fucking amazing. Like, the thing, like, creaks now whenever you, like, recline it and shit. Like, I'm pretty sure it's about to, f like, the ass is about to fall out of it, probably. And I'm like, I fuck, I love this chair. Put a lot of ass miles in this chair. Ooh, sniped. Come with a warmer and a massager. For 15k, look, whenever me and Kylie were at the furniture store... The other day, I saw some really nice shit that was, like, two grand. Like, I'm talking the nicest shit ever. Like, the sectionals with, like, the outlets and shit in it, and they recline and everything. So, if I'm spending 15 grand on a couch, um, like, it would have to be... I, I don't even... Because now that I, I have an idea of, like, what things cost whenever it comes to furniture, like, you know, regular people furniture, 15k for a couch, what would it have to do? It would have to, like, massage my fucking scalp with, like, little mechanical fingers, and then, like, tug on my balls, and, and like, mist me, like, every, like, 30 seconds with, like peppermint water or something. And it would also have to have like a like a hot cocoa dispenser or something. It would it, it, there just have to be some crazy shit. Absolutely crazy shit. It's also a car. Yes, there we go. Bingo. It's also a fucking car. Hey babe, I'm going to the store. Just fucking start that shit. Just drive it. <laughs> so
Swear by restoration hardware cloud couches. What is that? What? It sounds like they've been, or it sounds like you've been lied to by Big Couch. Big Couch is feeding you a lot of garbage. You really gotta watch out for Big Couch, and you gotta look out for Big Mattress. Big Mattress will have you believe that you need to spend $8,000 on a mattress. Don't believe Big Mattress, okay? They are liars. All right, sectional start at three and a half thousand and go up to nine k. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, and you're talking that, that fancy shit that, that you were talking about. I can't imagine something that's like fifteen grand. We were talking about fifteen grand for a couch. Damn. Damn. I just can't. I can't fucking. I can't wrap my mind around that, dude. It's like a down payment, but you're a down payment on a whole ass house that you're that you're buying a that you're buying something to fart in. That's essentially what you're doing. <laughs> Let me take this down payment and buy buy uh, myself a, a fart box. That's that's what we're doing. <laughs> I spent one hundred sixty dollars on my mattress on Amazon. It was a queen. I think me and Kylie spent like uh, we have a Walmart mattress. This is real shit. We were at Walmart for something completely unrelated. They had king size mattresses on sale for two hundred and thirty dollars, and we bought one because we've always wanted a king size bed. Cause she's like a starfish sleeper, you know, like one of these. And so now she can do that, and she won't even come close to me. And the mattress actually isn't that bad. Like it was not bad at all. That's why I always tell people don't believe big mattress. It's all a lie. I had a friend that used to work at Sears selling mattresses. Like, literally selling... He worked in the mattress department. And he told me that anything under $2,000 for a mattress was, uh, was a waste. It was a piece of shit. And I was like, dude, you don't work there anymore. You don't have to keep lying to me. He's like, no, dude, I'm serious, bro. He's just totally brainwashed by Big Mattress. And, like, you know, the the only argument, really, that I had to use was, like, yeah, and Sears is doing great, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> you were trained by a company that's doing just... They're, they're doing great. They're thriving, actually. Sears has never been better. Especially their mattress department. It's the only reason anybody goes to Sears anymore, clearly. <laughs> Uh-huh. Nerd. Don't you power attack me. I see you backing up for that power attack, dude. I'm not falling for that shit. Shit. It's shift. Not even touched. Zero gravity mode, and damn, I pay a few hundred extra for that. For real? Fuck me. 94 meters squared. Wait, is that how they measure... square footage in other countries? 94 meters squared. I mean, I guess it makes sense, because we just say square foot. It's just weird seeing it written like that. 94 meters to the... To, to the power of two. <laughs> <It's so shit. laughs> it just gets... Uh, yeah, I know, it just like... It's just seeing it written like that, it just... It makes me think there's gonna be, like, you know... Just a whole lot of shit coming after that. Gotta, gotta remember the fucking quadratic formula to buy your house. <laughs> My 
my house is 200 to the second power divided by x plus y minus b. All divided by z. It's just funny. Just seeing it like that, you know? <laughs> That's just like where my brain went. That's how my that's how my fucking brain works. My my stupid little soupy caveman brain. Oh, hi. Dude, he's hitting me from there. The reach on my man's axe was just too long. Sell TVs for Best Buy. A man trying to explain to people why certain TVs are better than others was tiring. I used to sell TVs for Best Buy too. You get some real interesting uh, people in in Best Buy. You get some real interesting people. <clears throat> Dumbasses. Interesting. <laughs> uh. See, but what's crazy to me is, like, I felt bad selling TVs at Best Buy. I felt bad. Like, legitimately felt wrong. And I did it for a long time. Um, because the amount of people that come in and are willing to spend thousands of dollars on a TV and then hook cable into it, I didn't understand, like, even though I would tell them, like, okay, you have a $2,000 TV, right? And you think it's going to make your cable look good. But the signal that you're putting into your cable, from your cable in there fucking sucks <laughs> so it's like and they're like oh so it won't make it look better I'm like no there's a little chip in there uh, that, that'll upscale it but it's it's not a miracle worker okay it's, <laughs> it's, you're gonna hook a fucking cable signal into this beautiful fucking TV it's like I hate you and they're like, oh, well, how do we get the how do we get the TV to do what it's supposed to do? I'm like, oh, you have to come over here and you have to buy this 4K fucking this 4K player that has HDR capabilities that is also going to be like $300. And uh, oh, by the way, in order for it to do its job, then you have to buy a particular movie that is also incredibly high priced. <laughs> Granted, I haven't I haven't sold it there in a few I haven't sold shit like that in a few years, so it's different now, but. Like, whenever I was doing it, like, 4K players were fucking nuts, like, price-wise. And 4K movies were nuts. And they were like, you mean I have to do all that to get my TV to, like, look as good as I want it to? I'm like, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> So, like, I felt bad. I, like, actually, like, morally felt bad having people, like, you know, they're coming in to buy a TV, and they're asking me all these questions, and they're trusting me, and then I'm like, okay, so what do you watch? I'm like, cable. I'm like, for fuck's sake, don't buy this. Save $1,500. And then whenever you want to get something other than cable, then buy a TV. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I just felt bad. I don't like doing that to people at all. Like, getting it home and just being wildly disappointed, you know? I actually don't remember this puzzle. Is it two apiece? I can't remember. I know I can look at the claw, but we're just gonna try this and see what happens. Oh, it is. It's two apiece, right? Nice. I remembered. Well, kinda. I sort of guessed.
<laughs> Tell Chief TV it doesn't come back in the 2K return. Yeah, no. Best Buy is horribly ass backwards in the way they do retail. They're they're really ass backwards. They're so stuck in this old like selling mindset. Like literally, like it, it's it's the it's the stupidest fucking way to do retail. Because nowadays people are so informed that you can't lie to people anymore. Like you used to that old like car salesman-y, like salesman tactic used to work so well because people didn't have literal fucking computers in their pocket. Like <clears throat> now, granted, it's been a few years since I worked at Best Buy, um, but I did work there a long time. And their vision of retail and selling to people and telling people what they need and what they want and trying to, quote unquote, like help and inform customers is so backwards and so out of date. So I don't know if they're still doing that or not, but it's it's very out of date. Because used to, you could do that. But... It's doing better than Sears, that's true. That's true, dude. My fucking... Uh, Tiny Tim's lemonade stand down the street's doing better than fucking Sears, so they got that. Oh my god. Ooh. Fatigue enchantment, nice. Used to work there two years ago, fuck, man. Yeah, it's just, it's just backwards, bro. Like, people don't want to be sold to anymore. People want to come in and buy their shit. Or, like, you know, or see if you have stock on something. And then, you know, price match some shit. Or, like, if they have questions. Like, they're coming in with questions that they've already Googled. And they're just trying to confirm those questions. It's just, it's so, retail's so different now. Like, people care more about, a cust like, customer service. Like, being treated well going into a store. Um not being badgered or bothered or even really talked to, to be honest, but they just want help, but they, they don't need to be sold to. No, like they don't. And, and Best Buy doesn't, like, no, they don't understand that. I still have friends that work at Best Buy and like, they're just still like, it's just so weird how they do things. Yeah. Uh, Death to Blade. Thank you for the tier one. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for the subs today, everybody. Thank you for hanging out and talking to me and chilling. I fucking... I'm mean, really enjoying, actually, just chilling and talking to you guys and, and going through some Skyrim. I think it's taken me, like, an hour to get through this dungeon because I had to redo it because <laughs> I fucking died. But either way... 50 euros is insane. It is. Yeah, yeah. Like, all people want is just to be treated nice. That's all they want. They want to go somewhere. They want to fucking be treated well. Now. Dude! Kill! Cease! Me and Burger Kid want an apology. <laughs> With the five gifted. With the five bomb. Thank you so much, my god. Remember Radio Shack? Dude. Me and Burger Kid want an apology now. I bought this blue microphone. The reason why I still have it. One, it works, but I haven't used it in a long time. Me and Burger Kid want an apology now. I bought this shit for $33 at a Radio Shack in Missouri years and years ago. Whenever I first, kid, want an apology now. when I first started streaming, this is a fucking relic. It is an artifact that future generations should study, because I bought this shit from a Radio Shack. I fucked heavy with Radio Shack. They always had all the stupid little fucking adapters and shit. Like Radio Shack was awesome. But thank you so much for the five gifted. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate that. Yeah, and if you guys got a sub, welcome. Welcome. Make sure you say thank you. It's very generous. Appreciate it. Miss Radio Shack. Cause, yeah, you didn't have to order the shit because they had it. This guy is the easiest person to fight in the world. Because he only understands stairs. <laughs> I 
He can't reach you unless he goes up the stairs. Imagine just going to a store and then just having what you wanted? No. No, that's crazy talk. Now you're just... Now you're just being ridiculous. You mean a store that has what you want in stock and doesn't tell you to order it online? No fucking way. Even though I gotta tell you guys, um, I love store apps. Like, if I'm at home and I'm like, do they have it? Like, if I if I know, like, if I search something, if, I'm not sure, you know? I don't want to drive, because where I live now, like, it's like 30 minutes to get to, like, a retail store. I don't want to drive 30 minutes to see if they have something. So, like, getting on an app and being able to check availability of something and then, like, hit, like, pick up or something. And then somebody in that store goes and pulls it off the shelf so that way they I know that they have it. That's it's the greatest shit ever. That's my favorite thing. I love apps. Like, store apps and, like, um, like, food apps and shit. Like, Marco's Pizza app. Like, always has coupons on it. And I fucking love that thing. Absolutely love that thing. I don't have to call somebody. I don't have to interact with another human to be able to get my food. Literally, order it on the app. Roll up. I don't even have to say my name if I don't want to. I can just write that shit on a piece of paper and just, like, slide it across the counter to him whenever I go in. And they just hand me the shit that I that I ordered. It's great. I'm already paid for. Minute out two seconds. Damn, you gotta get internet nice. Yes, yeah, it's crazy, right? It's fucking crazy. Had to implement buy online pickup in store. Dear God, that almost brings me to tears. Like happy tears, or are you like sad tears? No, dude, I I, fu I I I love the the like store pickup apps. I do, I love that shit. Whereas I didn't before, I order and pay on the app. I just walk and grab my food off a rack, right? Now, the only problem with Chipotle's system that I really fucking hate is the other day, me and Kylie got Chipotle. And somebody walked in and grabbed our fucking order off the rack and just walked out. And we were like, so then, even though we ordered and paid early and everything, Kylie still had to go up to the person and be like, hey, our food's not on the rack. And they were like, well, we made it. And she was like, well, I don't have a fucking bag. So... They, she had to still wait for them to remake the food. That's the only problem with that system. Is like people either don't read the tags or if they've got like a like a, a DoorDash driver or some shit going in there to pick up food for people, like they don't they might take the wrong order or whatever. That's the only problem with their with their shit. Is like some <laughs> random motherfucker could just come in there and just be like, man, eh, this looks good and just walk out. Eh, this seems pretty good. This seems like some shit I'd like. What's on here? Extra sour cream. No lettuce. Yep, that's me. Yep, that sounds, sounds like something I'd eat. 
Oh wait, let's go to let's go to Riverwood and give the give the claw back. Start stealing food from Chipotle. Right, you can. They don't get not check that shit. They're busy. Trouble. <laughs> Did I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. Maybe. Never mind. You spying on Sven, bro? Enough, I suppose. For a Nord village. He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius. There's a lot of challenges with it. So it took a ton of talking to so many people to get things done. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, no, I love that shit. The, the in-store pickup stuff and, and things like that. that. That that shit is really nice. Really, really nice. Mostly for me, because whenever I go to the store... Like, I'll go and buy my own groceries and shit. I don't, I don't, I don't really care about ordering ahead or anything for that. But, like, if I need... Or if I want, like, a particular, like, so this mouse I got, um, I bought a wireless mouse not too long ago. It's my first wireless mouse that I've ever tried, like, wireless gaming mouse or whatever, and I love it, but I wasn't sure, they, they only had one in stock at the store that I was ordering it from, so I ordered it ahead of time and, like, guaranteed that it was there before I drove all the way over there and got it, um, and the reason why I like buying... I don't like ordering gaming equipment because if I don't like it, I can box this shit up and take it back to the store. If I have to ship something back to Amazon to return it, I will not do it. I know myself. I will not. I was literally just about to fucking pick something. I know myself. I have two. Two. Spare modems. That I meant to send back, send, send back to Amazon, because they weren't the right ones that I needed, and I just still have them. Because I just won't do it. I don't need your jokes right now, but maybe you have a point. Maybe Camilla needs some help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you, could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Off to bed. Have a good one. Later, Jeff. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Farewell. But yeah, fucking. Ugh. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures. No theatrics. No thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. They sent a courier out, took it from your garage, and put it in his truck. That would be amazing. Oh, wait. Riverwood Trader is everything you need in the general store. Did something happen? Uh, yeah, we did have a bit of a, a break in. We still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You don't say. I fucking have that, dude. You mean this one? I just, like, pull it out of my pants. <laughs> you mean this one? Strange. He didn't know if I'm going for my dick or the, or the claw. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget <laughs> it. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. <laughs> Ooh. It means so much to us to have the claw back. Dude, the, the fucking Thank you. This is the most in-depth. Dude, they've been really stepping up the fucking like YouTube st studio like feedback shit. So like when you post a video, YouTube is usually like, "Oh, it's a good video. People are watching it." Or, "Oh, it fucking sucks. Try again, loser. This video blows. Why did you make this piece of garbage? Uh, you should hate your life." Those are like the the things that like YouTube will tell you. And I, I was just checking the the video because I was curious. And this one is a first for me. I have not seen this one yet in my all my years of doing YouTube. And it says, "Looking good." Although much of your audience isn't typically active around this time, this video is performing as usual. That's a good little bit of feedback. 
Normally, your videos suck at night. <laughs> but this one's pretty good. <laughs> Saw a mod once that makes the claw like 20 times bigger when they put it down. Oh, it makes that line look even stupider. That's funny. <laughs> it's just this huge fucking claw. He's like, oh, it's smaller than it used to be. Meh. It's a lot smaller than it used to be. Funny. It's a Hello there. You're not from around here. That makes two of us. Camilla is always my waifu. Like, always. She's always the one I marry. Either her or that, uh, the orc lady in Markarth. Those are the two I normally go for. Yo. Conbot, what up? Skyrim's going good. Just chilling, hanging out, talking to chat. You know, just fucking, just, just vibing heavy. Uh, Insano, thank you for the raid, my god. Thank you. Oh, bitch. It's that guy I follow on Twitter. <laughs> Maybe. It might be me. Who knows? Who's asking? Hi, everybody. Um, I have a letter for you from Sven. Another poem, I bet. He does know how to make a girl blush. What's this? If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean, I'll... You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. Owned. Awesome. Now that we've lied to you... I came here from the Imperial Province to work with my brother, Lucan. It means so much to us to have the... I love you, Vince. Well, thank you. Thank you. Female streamers deal with. I love your vids. Yeah, that one. Um, here, so I'll go. That was the first one that really like like did that something on Twitter this. for me. That was the first one that like really kind of <coughs> got like a decent amount of like traction and stuff. Good dog. That's a cool video. Even though it's not my best, it's uh, it's still you know it's there. <laughs> I look at some of my old videos. And I'm like, man, I could do that so much better now. Um, but Insano, dude, I hope you get the the internet stuff fixed, man. I, I went through that with Spectrum not too long ago, and uh, I ended up switching providers completely. So I hope you get it fucking fixed, dude. That sucks. I know Comcast is really rough for a lot of people. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. I appreciate your help. Please take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Oh right, I can have him as a follower too. I forgot about that. Oh, these are all stealing. stealing, every day stealing. We get visitors in Riverwood. Stupid dog. Okay. Hey, yo, what? Oh my god. Wait, is Fandil a a dick? Dude, you do not talk bad to the dog. He's not the best follower. Oh yeah, I'm sure he's trash. He's talk shit to the Oh my god. I don't know why that scared me so bad. It's just a bee. <laughs> well, I'm glad you liked it, Victoria. Glad you liked it. It is kind of crazy. I'm like, uh... I'm like really close to 12k on YouTube, which is nuts to me. That's just absolutely fucking batshit to me. Like, my YouTube is going to fuck around this year, and, like, I'm going to have more subs than I do, like, followers on Twitch, which is nuts. Yeah. Got him. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought the cow was, like, fighting him. Never mind. Stay away if I were you. Can you still get him to teach you archery and then take uh, his money back? 
Oh, probably. Yeah, you can probably spam that. Okay, cool. Can be emotes. God damn it. Dude, I under like I guess it was last spring, last summer. I've never seen this before. So for those of you that don't know what a carpenter bee is, some of you might know what a honey bee is and things like that. Um, or like a bumblebee. Carpenter bees uh, make, like, they build their nests or their hives, like, in dead wood. And they're like a fucking, they, they don't look like one, but they're like termites. They, like, fucking hollow out, like, dead wood and shit, and then go in, like, basically live in them. I, we had one, I've never seen this before in my life, had one carpenter bee that was just fucking our fence. Like, all of our fence posts have perfectly round fucking holes in them. And there was one. One B. One. Just one. Like, I even went outside and was, like, looking and, like, was, like, hitting the fence post. Just trying to see if there was an actual, like, hive starting. To see if we needed to call somebody to, like, get them, like, moved. Because, you know, you don't want to fucking just, like, poison them. You know, you don't want to just murder them all. But, like, I am, like, hitting fence posts and, like, hitting trees and shit outside trying to see, like, you know, if there is a more than one bee. One. And I would see his little ass fucking out there on the fence post. I'm like, dude, don't you... Aren't you supposed to be, like, a, a... A cog in a much larger machine? Why are you by yourself? I, like, he's just... He's just a little lonely bee, dude, out there fucking eating my fence. And, like, I wanted to be mad at him, but I think he's probably so fucking lonely. I don't know if insects get lonely. And he's just vibing right there. <laughs> so seriously, dude. I just let him be. Apparently you can... Uh, oh, God. I didn't mean to fucking do that. Let him be. But... Apparently you can, like, hang... Because we told our landlord about it, and they were like, oh, yeah, that happens all the time, like, where we live, apparently. They're, they're just around. And apparently, they, they don't like hornets. So, you can hang, like, a brown bag outside where they're, like, making, like, fucking, fucking with the wood and shit, and they, they like, go away. So, we did that, and he, he kind of cared, kind of didn't. Kind of just moved to the other side of the yard. <laughs> just started fucking up those fence posts, too. I was like, this motherfucker. Ants die from loneliness? Really? Interesting. They'll even go through metal, had railings ruined by them? Really? They'd fight over the wood? No way. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, I don't know. You guys gotta understand, I don't like stinging insects. I really don't. I'm allergic to all of them. But I'm the type of person that, like... Like, I will put bugs outside if I see... I, I don't kill bugs. I don't know why. Um, I just... I, I don't. I just am like, okay, you know what? You're just living your life, you know? You know what I mean? Like, you're, you're just doing your thing, and you found this house, and you thought it was it was, it was chill... To, to be in here, but it's it's kind of not. So I'm just gonna take you and I'm gonna put you outside because you don't know anything. You don't know any better, right? I just I, I do that. I don't know. Plus, when you kill them, like you know, you, then you got bug splatter on your walls or wherever the fuck you you, you do it at. And so like I didn't want to kill the fucking bee because it's it's technically not my fence, my landlord's fence, you know. And we told them about it and they were like, oh yeah, that happens. And so I was like, okay. I'm convinced this is a copy of much older text. Perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. 
My employers are anxious to have some but yeah, tangible I don't, answers. I don't know. Oh, have no fear. It's just no how I am. I just fucking I, I put shit like I, I, so I don't I'm know. So I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farngar. Don't forget. This isn't some theory. Dragons have come back. Yes. Yes. Don't Sweet. Worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendous. Now nice. let me show you something else I found. Sick. Very intriguing. You have a visit. Male carpenter bees don't extinguish. Really. Well, that's a fun fact, isn't it? Um, I'm just gonna split it. I'm gonna just do health, stamina, health, stamina. At least until my stamina gets to like, I don't know, 150 or so. I am doing melee, so. 40% stronger. Ooh, big jumps, big jumps. I should probably grab some other stuff now that I've got these like early points in these. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Yep, cool. Employers may be interested as well. Hmm? Ah, yes, the Jarl's protege, back from Bleak Falls Barrow. <laughs> oh, they're solitary. <laughs> See, I didn't know that. Ah, I am the Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls fucking... Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. I thought that, like, all of them were just, you know, all the bees were just some form of, like, you know, they're all just hanging out together, I guess. I guess I don't know jack shit about bees. Trying to make holes for eggs? Fun! <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, though. Um, with as cold as it got here... If she did ever lay any fucking eggs in that tiny ass fence post, I mean a fence post. You're talking, you know, it's a, it's that thick. There's not a lot of shelter. Uh, those things, those things turned into little popsicles. Those things are gone. <laughs> those things, I don't know how resilient they are, but it got pretty fucking cold. So if she did lay any eggs, they turned into little. You know, I think you need something a little thicker. To get you through, but I don't know. You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So you're in. Heaven, there gets pretty cold, exactly. really. And we have our friend. Well, here well, I guess we'll find out. For us. He went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that. Uh, let's go ahead and disenchant that. Sweet. Disenchant that. Sweet. Keep the hood. I actually want to keep that. I just put it on whenever I sell shit, I guess. Well, actually, I don't have a necklace, so I guess I can put it on now. 12% is pretty fucking solid just as a base enchant. If that was like 5% or something, I'd probably destroy it, but that's a pretty solid enchant, honestly. Just slap that shit on, dude. Oh, exciting. Where was it seen? It's a legendary run. No, no, I'm just playing a master. And I'm just kind of casually playing as well. Just kind of having some fun. Chilling. I take haven't played the game in so long. Female lays take approximately 36 days to develop into an adult. Oh, interesting. Well, it's been a lot longer than 36 days uh, since... I think the last time I saw one of those carpenter bees was like... Mm, I want to say like May or June. So, yeah, it's been a lot longer than that, even before it got cold. So, maybe maybe they didn't lay any here. Maybe our little paper bag trick worked. We learned that paper bag trick from... Uh, Kylie's brother does landscaping. Like, he's worked in landscaping for a long time. Um, and he deals with that, obviously, you know, fucking going to people's, like, houses or farms or wherever the fuck they are and doing that. He says that he deals with carpenter bees all the time, and that's where he learned it. It's an interesting little trick. Good. Don't fail me. Cam, what up, dude? What up, buddy? I need your help again. Congrats on the fucking film. 
winning uh the the fucking so have more experience with dragons than anyone else here i can't remember what the fuck it won i, I saw it won something that was really cool at that film festival as a token of my is that the one that has um i have it in my watch later on youtube and i haven't gotten an opportunity to watch it yet i haven't sat down and fucking watched it yet but is that the one with Keontae? Is that the one that, that he's like the the main person in? Both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. Transference. Transference is the one that the I'm thinking of. They both have Keontae. Gotcha. He's fucking great. What a gem of a human being he is. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of court. Are we allowed to talk about the new Pokemon games here? Sure. Yeah, I don't know anything about them. We were talking about a Pokemon a little bit earlier. But, yeah, I don't know jack shit about them. I know people are angry, but that kind of seems to happen. Uh, I know that people are excited. You know? Wait, for a second. Yeah, I, f I never knew. Do you guys have any idea how long I played this game? Thousands of hours that I played this game before I knew that you could look at these forts on the map and activate them, like hit E on them, and it would update, it would add the marker to your map. I never fucking knew this. So you can update your map with these landmarks. So that way you know where they are. Change the switch name to Shay now in case you see him around. Really? I was actually... Like, I was literally thinking the other day, like, that I hadn't seen him on in a while, but maybe that's why. <laughs> maybe that's why. Up there with you on hours. So, yeah, I never fucking knew that. And nobody said shit. <laughs> in the amount of times that I've streamed that see, now all these markers are here. So now I know where they are. Now I know where, like, the forts are and shit if I ever want to, I don't know, do them or anything like that. It's a small thing. I can't fast travel to them or anything, but now that I know that they're there, you know? Yeah, nobody said shit in all the hours of fucking stream. Nobody was like, hey, do you know if you activate that map, you know, if I can... It'll mark it for you? Can't use his middle name? Really? Huh. Every new playthrough I learn something new? Yeah, I do too. It's like, because I, I think I play a little differently. Especially if I take breaks from the game, like I have recently. Take breaks and come back, I play I differently then. Only all visitors to White Run were as noble. Huh. I'll have to keep an eye out then. If he's only streaming on Sundays. Yeah. My, uh... My fucking... I feel like a lot of the people that I used to, like, really keep up with, um... I don't, I don't see as much, even though I don't follow very many people on Twitter, like, in comparison to a lot of people. Um, with the way Twitter shows you shit, like, you'll be following somebody and you won't see the stuff that they post, right? So I feel like I'm really behind, like, keeping up with some of the people that I've fucking watched for, like, years or, like, you know, enjoyed for years and years. But it's just because of the way Twitter does things. Like, that's how I keep up with people generally. Change it back to latest instead of top tweets. The only reason why I don't do that is because some of the shit that I see in the top tweet section is just so fucking funny. It's just so good. Like, and, and so that's, that's literally why. That's the only reason. Like, I love, uh, you know... Like, I remember what old Twitter was like, obviously. You know, I've been on Twitter for a very long time. And, like, whenever everything was in chronological order and all that shit, that was great. But, since I'm using Twitter, since I use Twitter for, like, entertainment, you know? Not just as, like, a, like, keep up with people tool anymore. Like, it is just so fucking hilarious. 
some of the shit that I see in those top tweets. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Not being chronological, yeah. You never beat the main story with 300 hours? That's, that's, that's quite a lot of hours to not beat the main story. It's not very hard. I will say, um, I, I do remember one time, the first Alduin fight, because of the build that I went and the difficulty that I had the game on, the first Alduin fight on at the Throat of the World was one of the hardest fucking things that I've ever had to do in my entire life because I did I did a sneak build with daggers um and it was it was just that traditional like uh, illusion mage but it was also like a, a sneak like it was like an illusion assassin basically and it's a super fun build but it does not work for dragons like especially if you do it too early and so, it was just a repeated ass-pounding, because I had no health. All of my points went into magic. So I literally had, like, 100 health. And those meteors that he calls down would just one-hit me. It was an awful experience. But other than that, the main story is generally yeah, not too difficult. <laughs> so fucking annoying, dude. You already have been told you're not allowed here. I work with my mother. You sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun mostly. Fuck that fight. Yeah, no, it's annoying. That fight fucking sucks. Big time. Can you get... I don't remember all of the shouts. Can you get that shout that, like, it's like a meteor thing? Can you make rocks fall out of the sky? Or no? Is that one that only he has? Or is that even a shout that he does to do that? I always thought that that was, like, a, a thing that he was doing. I think only he has it? Oh, okay. I mean, in reality, like, I'd probably just end up killing myself with it by accident, but it would still be cool to do. By the way, I love the way this game looks. I really do. Like, I love just shots like that. That shit's so fucking great. I love that shit. I think. Okay. Oh, and the fucking lighting's changing. Oh, I love it. This is really why I play this game. Like, more more than anything else, this is really why. Because I just sit here and fucking do this. When I don't expect much from the game, when I lower my expectations of what is in the game, this game always fucking stuns me. Whenever I start raising my expectations of what I, ex like, you know, want out of Bethesda, the game disappoints me vastly. Or if I compare it too heavily to other RPGs, disappoints the shit out of me. But this is the base special edition game. And it's still... I absolutely fucking love just running around in this game and just, you know, enjoying the world. But like I said, as soon as I start comparing it, we're looking for someone in White Run. We'll pay good money for information. Like, you know, combat or, or you know, characters or writing or, you know, uh, storylines and side quests and shit. If I start comparing those things, like, one for one to other RPGs that I've played, it's so lackluster. But if I'm just casually enjoying the game and enjoying the experience, this game always shocks me. A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun. 
So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. So the DLC in this game, Cam, is actually... It's... It's okay. A lot of people actually really seem to like it. I think in terms of DLC... I think the Dragonborn DLC is really cool because it's nothing but a huge callback to Morrowind the whole time. There's so many Easter eggs for Morrowind, and I've played so much Morrowind that, you know, you can understand all of them, and it's really cool. Um, the Dawnguard DLC, I fucking hate being a vampire or vampires in any Elder Scrolls game. So the Dawnguard DLC didn't really speak to me ever. Even though you can be a vampire hunter, I still don't like fighting vampires in the Elder Scrolls games. They're annoying. They drain life. I don't like them. Um, they're more of a nuisance. So, Dawnguard didn't speak to me the way it did some other people. Like, I know other people really like the Dawnguard DLC. It's got a decent story. Um, but all in all, I feel like this game's DLC is weaker than other Bethesda titles, including the Fallouts. Um... Fallout 3 has some of the best DLC I've played in a video game. Any video game. The Fallout 3 DLC was so much fun, and there was so much content in it, and it was so interesting, and the locations were so different. Um, I thought it was super cool. Not to mention, a lot of the DLC played off of things that you had already found in the base game, or like storylines you'd already found in the base game. Um, and so that was really cool. And I, I really loved it. I loved Fallout 3's DLC. Um, Oblivion's DLC, Shivering Isles, is one of the coolest fucking DLCs I've ever done. Um, so I felt like, as far as this game goes, the DLC was weaker than other titles, but it's still very good. For, for different reasons. The Soul Cairn location. Um, that was interesting. The Soul Cairn location was, was, was cool. I, I liked the, the undead horse. <laughs> That you can get. Solstheim. Yeah, see, Solstheim is, uh, is a big... It's just, like I said, it's a, it's a big, like, callback to Morrowind, which is really awesome. Gotta take a word call. Alright, Cam. Sounds good, buddy. Point like I got your favorite. Point like I was fucking dope. I'm telling you, man, Fallout 3 DLC was great. And I, I think Fallout New Vegas DLC is really good. Um... But I mean, it's again it, like that DLC is What's is right fantastic. Oh, but hello. but New Vegas was also a different like it was Obsidian, which Obsidian just does good shit. I love Obsidian as a game studio. Shivering Isles DLC for Oblivion was fun. It was awesome. <laughs> I know it was fun for a lot of people, but I thought it was really cool because it was, it's unique. And I'm all about things in games that are unique. Like, they're different. That's kind of like this wacky, quirky shit going on in Shivering Isles. And it's such an interesting place to explore. It's just this off-the-wall, eccentric garbage all the time. But it's very entertaining to be in. That was cool. It's almost like uh, fucking, like, if if Willy Wonka became a Daedric Prince or some shit. Like, it was just, like, this weird thing for me, but I, I really liked it. Bitched about the ammo system. Going back to it, I really enjoy it. New Vegas is awesome. I appreciate New Vegas more now than I ever have, I think. Um, I think Fallout 4 made me appreciate it. As stupid as that sounds, Fallout 4 is not a bad game. I just get bored with it. I actually don't think Fallout 4 is a bad game. I think the DLC is ass. Um, except for the one. The first DLC they came out with was was pretty good. Um, Far Harbor or whatever the fuck that was. That was pretty good. But the DLC is largely ass. The building mechanics in Fallout 4 are okay. But they're like super, in my opinion, like really uninspired. Um, the dialogue system is watered down. The game itself, though, it's got the best gunplay of any of the other ones. Um, the best movement of any of the other ones. I actually think that exploring the Commonwealth is a really interesting place to explore. 
in interesting locations and things. So I don't think Fallout 4 is necessarily like a huge failure. I just think one, it was it, it you know it had a ton of hype, and two, it it's just you know when you strip things away to to make room for other things like the voice like they stripped the dialogue options to give games that have never had a voiced protagonist a voiced protagonist and it's like why did people ask for this is like the dialogue system got completely shit on just so that they could have a voice protagonist. It's like that nobody cares. <laughs> nobody gave a shit. I don't remember one person playing fucking Fallout 3 and being like, man, I really wish my main character could talk. <laughs> it's like nobody gave a fuck. And it just, it watered down because the dialogue options were watered down. Then you end up watering down your whole interactions with all of the characters in the games, which is one of the biggest reasons to enjoy games like that. Like, especially in the Fallout series, so many cool, interesting interactions with characters and, and things like that got just completely stripped because they had to water down the system so that they could support a voiced protagonist. And it's just fucking sad. It's so sad what happened to that game. See, if Bethesda and Obsidian can do anything together now with all the Microsoft shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I love Obsidian. I do. Pretty much everything they make, I enjoy. Fallout 4 is a great game, but a bad Fallout? I, I do. I, I think it's an interesting game, yeah. People called me fucking crazy when it came out because I played it like on launch, um, and I I said it was it was more closely related to a Far Cry game with the voice protagonist and the gunplay and the settlements and things like that. I, like I literally compared it more closely to a like mechanically, not story wise or anything like that. Mechanically, as far as the way the guns felt and the movement felt and things like that, I literally compared it to a Far Cry game, and people freak the fuck out and since then I've seen numerous people on YouTube and in streams compare it more closely to a Far Cry game than a Fallout traditional Fallout game and I remember that dude people ripped my asshole in my fucking Twitch chat and I was like okay yeah don't believe me it's fine I'm not the one sitting here playing it <laughs> I'm not the one sitting here fucking uh doing like actually playing the game <laughs> it's like just everything about it, like, it just, it was weird. The way it felt. I'm trying to fix your net, it's all good. Main character having a voice, which limits dialogue options in, in half. Yeah, I mean, that's what it is, man. Because <clears throat> you think, the more dialogue options you have, that's more voiceover lines that that voice actor has to record. And as it branches out, that's even more. And each line and each hour and, and all the work that they have to do, that's more money that the de that the developers and the, or the publishers have to pay these voice actors. And so, obviously, they're going to start shrinking shit because money's what makes these fucking things go forward. You know, they're passion projects, but they're also, I mean, at the, at the end of the day, they have bottom lines they have to hit, dude, and they fucking start shrinking the dialogue down because it's no longer just a person writing the words, right? then you also have to have somebody else speak those words. And that takes time. And then you have to have somebody clip up the audio and fucking compress the audio and make it sound properly based off of all sorts of things, like whether they're fucking inside, outside. Um, you know, are they are they yelling? Are they whispering? Do, you know, what are the other factors that go into it? Like, having a voiced protagonist... It's actually amazing that Witcher has had such success with Geralt doing it as long as they have. It's actually incredible. The extent that an RPG of that depth, you know, uh, has with a voice protagonist is kind of crazy. Just the amount of, like, work that goes into it.
Geralt just talks. He doesn't really converse. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Just the scale. I would love to play Witcher 3 on stream, but it looks like dog shit because of the bitrate limits on Twitch. Because of all the grass and blowing trees and shit, what it does is it makes people's streams artifact really hard, unfortunately. So I actually think Witcher 3 looks like absolute ass whenever people stream it on Twitch. Even people with really nice PCs, the game just fucks the bitrate to shit. Because of all of the moving, like, little pieces of grass and shit like that. Just whack it to 8K on slow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let me just... <laughs> let me let me just get a fucking SpaceX computer. <laughs> let me just get a fucking... Oh, man. Did that on your Threadripper? Did it work? Now that PC no longer works. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I was like, did it actually do it? Or did it fucking... I mean, my God, dude. The, just the amount of power you have to have to make that game look good on stream. It looks amazing in person. It looks amazing on YouTube because you can have these just enormous fucking bit rates on YouTube. Um, you can just have all the fucking juice on YouTube to do what you want. And on Twitch, it just looks like fucking butt cheeks. A lot of people don't even notice it, dude, but I do, and it fucking bothers me. Like, I know that most people would just be like, oh, cool, watching a stream, whatever, but I notice it, and it just, it would just scratch at my brain. It's almost like ignorance is bliss. Like, if, when I didn't know about all the things that I know, whenever it comes to, like, settings and fucking video settings and things like that, I, I wouldn't have bothered me. Now I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> It looks like such ass. I wish we had YouTube level bit rates on Twitch. Right. Yeah, it'd be great. Come watch my stream. Fuck this guy. Kelsey, thank you for the long that's the longest sub I've got on this channel. The longest sub I've got. Kelsey, thank you so much. Forty two months. That's insane. Thank you so much. Good lord. Good lord. Vsod due to memory issues. Really? 1080p on slow is 30%? Fuck me. You had the beefy boy Threadripper, though, didn't you? Because they've got another model of the Thread... They've got, like, different levels of the Threadripper. You had the big bitch, right? It was first gen, the 16 core. Oh, okay, gotcha. <clears throat> gotcha, gotcha. Thirty eight hundred X and RTX thirty ninety. Oh yeah, yeah, but you got the stupid shit because you one, I think I I, I, I think you have a problem. <laughs> but also you do a lot of like editing and the the film and shit. Like I, I get it. I get it. I get why you would have that. Is it necessary? Not entirely. But it's also nice to have. <laughs> I always see you fucking posting about buying a fucking camera or some shit. I'm like, Cam, do you not own all of the cameras yet? Do you not own all of the lenses? How many more are there? How many more can there be? It's not possible. There can't be more. Soon. Oh, fuck me, dude. All right, chat. I know I've just kind of been sitting here just shooting the shit with you guys. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you for hanging out. I got to go ahead and hop off here. It's fucking 4 a.m. here, so I got to go ahead and jump off. My throat is torched, too. I don't know. I, I feel like I sound more croaky as well. Um, it's just this dry air, dude. It's, it's absolutely destroying my fucking throat and sinuses and stuff. So um, I'm going to go ahead and hop off. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. We might play some more of this tomorrow night or something. Um, but... I told you guys I'm getting that Little Caesars pretzel crust. So, like, tonight. 
So if I eat that and lapse into a food coma, I'm sorry if I missed the stream. If you guys haven't seen the new video, there's a couple of new videos up on YouTube. I, I posted like back to back days. So there's two new videos up. Um, if you guys haven't seen those, it's exclamation point YouTube. We're like right at 12K on YouTube, which is fucking dope. So thank you guys for that. Um, thank you for all the love. Thank you for the subs hanging out, you know, just chilling with me, giving me some of your time. I really appreciate it. Um, if I don't stream tonight, then, uh, uh, I'll be back. You know, you know how, I, how it is. Even if I take a couple days off, I'm always, I'm always back kind of around this like late night time. So, uh, I really appreciate you. There'll be a new video. Hopefully I know I just posted two, but I think I'm going to have another one up on Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. I think is what I'm shooting for, for another skit. So thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful fucking day. Have a, have a, 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 a great Saturday if, if I don't see you and, uh, I'll see you next time, all right? Take it easy.